It has been a busy evening for the Lysander family, a busy week for the Lysander family, as it started with an Elysium. It moved on to a job, the first job from the prince. Then it moved on to the birth of Dorian's children, along with meeting Anarchs in Chicago. And now, trying to deal with a situation, a precarious situation that has brought them to trying to figure out how to deal with getting a park for the prince, a territory. It started out as something that could have been seen as a simple job, but has increasingly gotten more complicated as more and more complications are brought in. And the Lysanders learn that it's not a matter of always throwing money at a situation and a problem. There are people at play, politics at play, pawns at play, dangers at play in order to get what is needed. And this danger that they've learned is none other than a lupine, a werewolf something that they have to now figure out how they can deal with as, as they've learned the dangers of werewolves. How can one of the richest families in Chicago deal with a problem of something they have no idea what they're facing? Willow and Dorian spent time discussing with their father not really discussing, as they thought they could have a discussion. But it turned into a berating from their father about coming to him. But they also learned that his father was also not having the best of nights, as he learned he may lose his spot at a very key company that was recently acquired by his company, Vital Medical Group. A board vote is happening next week and he could be voted out. Meanwhile, Silas Jr. decided not to join his siblings in talking with their father, as he likely knew where that could have ended up. He decided to look for the patriarch of their family, their uncle, Uncle Jacques who he found was actually on his way to the hospital to visit his new great, great, great grandchildren and spend some time with the newest members of the Lysander bloodline. So Silas, you yes. make your way over uh, to back to the hospital and make your way in. You're not working tonight, but it's not uncommon for you to show up on nights when you're not working and you say hello. Mm -hmm. And 
you make your way over to the ward where uh, Dorian's wife has been uh, for the past night. Um, she still hasn't been released, though she'll likely be released either late t tonight or tomorrow morning, um, released back home. But you make your way to her room and you do find none other than Jacques holding one of his new grandchildren. Anna. Standing uh, there alongside uh, Adeline. Uh, Adeline, who is resting at this moment. Where's uh, Elijah? Uh, Elijah is actually Elijah's probably with Adeline, honestly. She's probably holding him, but she's like her eyes are she's kind of like humming and resting. Like she's not really she's she looks tired. It's late. And how is right. everyone's evening? Actually, when you see me, I'm singing a small lullaby. It's not one you've probably heard of. Uh I went to the animal fair, the birds and beasts were there. The little raccoon by the light of the moon was combing his auburn hair. As I'm like rocking one of the kids. Hey everyone, how's Just checking in? Oh, hey, how's it going? Oh, Jacques, didn't know you oh. were here. Good to see uh, you, Jacques. Can I Dorian, can I take a... You're actually oh. not there. Uh, I'm not? This no. is when we're having our conversation with Dad. Yes. Oh, this is oh. What, sorry, this is oh, what oh, Silas oh, oh, was I'm doing. I'm so sorry. I yes. thought we had regrouped. Oh, nope. okay. I apologize. Not quite yet. Just Silas is there. So sorry. I don't know, aren't, aren't they precious, Silas? They are. Where did where Dorian get the name Elijah from? I couldn't tell you. Yeah. Strong name, though. It's a good name. Yeah, I think Like so. all the Lysanders. Oh. And Addie, how yeah. are you feeling? I am doing okay, actually. You know, for having two, uh, double the amount that I've previously had, um, I'm actually really, I'm, I'm ready to be home. I mean, I'm... I, I bet. I'm, I'm sure you'll get out of here in no time. Probably the morning. I, I, I hope so. Um, and that, I'm just happy the babies are healthy and everything, everything's been good. I'm, I'm just so happy there were no complications or anything. Agreed. Agreed. And they look great. I've, I've checked their, you know, their, their medical notes. They're healthy as an ox. Two great Lysander children. Makes me so happy to hear. Jacques, um, can I, I didn't know you're here, but can I speak to you about something? Oh, of course, yeah. I'll be right back, little Anna. It's Why is that go. so creepy? <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Adelaide. <laughs> it's just the little, the little, the little baby. It's the, it's yeah. the voice. You can't say anything yeah. in that voice. voice and not be creepy. I'm sure, I'm sure his intentions are good, guys. Oh, um, as, as I crest their head, you see my long, sharp fingernails. You do see a... Uh, I, I assume you give the baby back to Adeline. Yeah, um, there you go, Adeline. You do... You definitely feel the uneasiness when she takes the baby back from you and you holding her child. Um, so she kind of gives you a half smile and always good to have you here, Jacques. Uh, and she, you know, takes both of her children. Yeah, strong woman. I, I pat her on the shoulder. She, she winces a bit, uh, <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, you can tell, obviously, she's uneasy when you're around. Come on, we'll go to my office. After you. And he'll, he'll walk Jacques down the hall to his office. Or wherever it is across the hospital. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. As I walk you... behind you, if you look back, you would see someone else following you. <sighs> Understood. Yes, and uh, the two of you make your way to Silas's office. It's a 
medium-sized office, but there are no windows, uh, and you close the door, and the two of you are in Silas's office. Have a seat. What? <laughs> yeah, usually the roles are reversed here. What, uh... What seems to be the issue? You're interrupting my time with my grandkids. Uh... So. This is more important than that. I'm listening. What do you know? What do you know about lupines? <laughs> you know a thing or two. What, what are you asking about that for? Is this some premier business? No, 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 no. This is Kevin Jackson business. Oh, Kevin Jackson! I thought you had you going after anarchs. Anarchs are in the park. Anarchs are after a lupine. Anarch Anarchs want the lupine gone for the park. Well, diplomacy. All right. You know, in my day, we'd cut the Anarchs down without thinking about it. The thought didn't cross... The th thought did cross my mind, but... Well, you know, it's good to change with the times. So lupines, uh, strong sons of bitches. They're, uh, if you're not careful, they can tear apart quite a few vamps. So us going three nine month old neonates going toe to toe with a lupine, not the best idea. No. Now, if I were to come with you, you know, maybe you have a chance. Uh, we need to go get some gear and things like that. But don't worry, Uncle Jack's got everything stored away for that kind of situation. Well, that's good to hear. Besides spending time with the kids, what are you doing here? Why would I be here for any other reason? It's just, you can see them any time and you're here at the hospital the day they're born, Jock. It's... Look, I know you were around when Dad wasn't, but... Look. I... The family's important to me. Those kids, they're important to me. Always gotta have just one like in the you chamber, were. right? Just in case. Yeah, you wouldn't understand. Help me understand. Our family, our, our family, it, it's legacy. <laughs> yeah, all the pain we go through, all the suffering, it's not just for us. It's for the generations that come after. It's what separates us from the rest of the Camarilla, if you ask me. The family aspect. We always got our eyes on the future, on the next generation, because you never know. Even as a vampire, as a kindred, you, you don't know. Any day could be your last. Yeah. So with this lupine, like, I'm not going to ask for your help because it was a job for us. You wouldn't happen to have anyone you could help us with it. We can pay someone to deal with it. But if you did need to go deal with it yourself, you don't need to ask me to help you. That's what family's for. That's why the legacy matters. And here I thought this was going to be a uh, very sour conversation. <laughs> Dorian and Willow, they went to they went to father to ask for his help. Can't imagine how that went down. <sighs> Silas, uh, your dad is stressed right now, you know. 
He's always stress shock. Yeah, it's it's the shittiest excuse he ever came up with. Part of being a venture. Hmm. I see. Yeah. Why is he stressed? What's new this time? Business things, I understand. Something with the board, I vital. Hmm. Interesting. Let's go check on the kids. Let's see how they're doing. The Dory and fine. Willow, I mean. Oh, okay. Well, they went to the office. Yeah. I just want to make office. sure they don't do anything stupid. A lupine. Let me tell you, Dorian's little pea shooter is not going to do much to a lupine. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe he still carries that thing around with all the muscle that we have. It's not a bad idea. It, I mean, if it keeps him safe, mentally or physically. Exactly. Oh, and also, you might want to, um, you might want to buy Willow something nice. What's wrong with Willow? You know how she is. She gets that glisten in her eye when she gets an ideal. Something visit with the I don't Anarch. know about? Visit with the Anarchs, uh, you know, Willow. Something new, something fashionable. I can't fault her there. She, uh, what, what happened with them? She make a deal or something? She owe one of them a favor? No, no, no favors. Just from my understanding, she wanted Machiavelli to be immortal. Mm. She could have just come to me. I could have made that happen. You know, she's... She's not one to beg. She'll always go. She sees something she wants, she'll go for it. And it was given to her. I'll keep my eye on it. Let's just make sure they haven't done something stupid. Knowing Marcus them, they is outside, I'm guessing? Have. No, I took a taxi. Uh, all right. Uh, Jacques, you you were brought here actually by your own driver, Martin. Um, as Ooh. I remember, there's the lore. there's Marcus, Lucas, and then your driver, Martin. Uh, oh yeah. Okay. I was I was reminded from our prequel, uh, our first three episodes, that you had a driver that you kept mispronouncing his name or giving him different names, but his name. I was think Martin. at some point I started calling him Marcus, and then I just <laughs> yeah, it just all sort of became one person. Yes. I, I I lose track. I'm old. So, so yes, your driver is here if you want to right. go back with him. Let's see if we can find where they're at. And they uh, if you home. need to, yeah. If you guys need to hire somebody, we can do that. Of course, if you need to bring out the muscle, I'm happy to supply. Glad to hear it. Okay, and with that, I guess we would leave. Yep. So you guys uh, head out and uh, head back to the house, I presume. Um, you, uh, whether it's together, if you decide to drive together or separately, you both are headed to the same destination, back to your home. Uh, Willow and Dorian, the two of you uh, meet with Marcus and uh, begin heading back home as well. Is there anything the two of you, uh, after the evening you had with your father, uh, would like to say to each other before heading back home? Are we taking a walk? Wait, did we drive here? Do you remember? Mm. I believe you did drive there. Did we we did were we being focus? driven back. I think we had already left. Okay. Like, that's where we well, left in the off car. last. In the yeah. car, then. In the back of the car. Um, mm. I, I put up the privacy screen. Okay, I press the little button. But, uh, yep. <laughs> so it's just me and Dorian. Can you believe that? She just looks at you. She's leaning against the window, looking at you. <clears throat> of course I can believe it. It's dad. How could he 
talk about how he's worried about being voted off and then scream at us. Because what else are we going to do? What do you mean? Are oh, you are you. you serious? Are you thank you're you. planning on voting against him? She just shrugs. I mean, we have a choice. Don't we? Willow, I want to take over this company from dead too. But where does that leave us? If dad's voted out, if dad's not CEO, where does that put us for votes in the family? We don't lose our votes just because he loses his seat, do we? We control the company because our family has a majority. And just because Val doesn't show up to every vote, you just recently got access to yours, doesn't mean that the rest of the board members don't know that we could call in the family at any time. But if we go against dad, we lose his two votes. And then it's what, you, me, Silas, Val, if she shows up? That's still that's f- that's more than he votes. has. To do what with? I don't know. To Why don't you be put in charge? We don't have the support. Well, then I guess we should get it. I agree. But that takes planning. That takes moves, right? We can't just... We can't just vote against dad and push him out of the company. If we get everyone else to as well, then we can. You know these, you know these people, Dorian, do you not? The other board members? I don't know them as well as dad. I don't have them in my pocket. Well, then get them in your pocket. I want to, it takes time. We can't just We can't just go against him and have nothing to show for it. Be left out in the wind with no votes and no ability to do anything in the company. Like we need, we need to be united as a family, at least for now. Well then, if I vote yes for him, you've got to promise that you're going to go get those other people in your pocket. Easy. Easy. He's already planning on doing that. It's an easy promise. Fine. I'd much rather you run it than him. Look, if you're serious about wanting to take down dad, that's great. I could use you on my team, like working with me, figuring this out. Like we can make this happen. I just don't want him to have it. Fair enough. I don't need a better reason than that. And if, you know, It happens to be my big brother that takes his spot. That would be even better. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. You know, I did just realize I I didn't even mention the kids when I saw him. He wouldn't care. I mean, he probably knew, right? He didn't ask either, right? Fuck yeah. He doesn't care. Come on. This company is the only thing he does care about, and that's why he shouldn't have it. All right. Bye. So we'll work together to bring him down, and he'll 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 hold his hand out to shake. Okay, she'll shake his hand very excitedly, like oh, it's just a deal with my brother. (laughs) (laughs) A a a handshake among siblings to seal this deal. Were were you guys talking about this, by the way? In the back of the car? In the van. Oh, okay, that's right, that's right, that's right. Or in the van, in their limo. (laughs) uh, Got it, yes. (laughs) The Dodge Sprinter. (laughs) Yeah, in their limo on the way back home. And you guys uh, make it back, and you uh, see that Silas and Jacques are at home, um, and you see the two of them sitting in the the dining area, if there's anything the, that you wish to say with Jacques, he uh, he 
sits there with your brother. Hmm, wait, before we get out, I just, before we get out of the car, I just... Dorian, do we tell anyone else about this? We gotta get Silas on our side, right? We should talk to Silas. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. She nods. Then she'll get out, and then we can go. Okay. Silas, you see your siblings arrive. Oh, there you guys are. Yeah. How did talk with dad go? Good. Good. He, uh, he helped us out. He had, um... I, so at the end of last session, when we walked away, an assistant uh -huh. had reached out to us and given us some information. Yes. Yeah. Right? The exterminating um, assistant, uh... Yes, uh, I am going to say though, uh, as you're you, as you're saying, good, good, it went well. I do want you to roll me a uh, charisma, uh, a manipulation <laughs> subterfuge or charisma manipulation. Um, so it's two two social attributes. Um, <laughs> we got six nine die in this one. Yeah, charisma <laughs> manipulation, and then he he is a businessman. He's got yeah, Silas, of course. Yeah, Silas and Jacques. Um, Silas and Jacques, you can roll me a wits uh, insight to see uh, if this doesn't come off as anything to you. Uh, if you believe Dorian, that it went well. Do we have any bonus because we know what his old man is like? Um, I would say yes. You have. You can add one die to this pool. Uh, one extra die to this pool. Uh, and what was that again? Uh, wits and insight. Uh, yes, uh, wits and insight. Uh, so wait, charisma manipulation is what I'm doing here? Yes, and I, I yes, and I believe on Demiplane you should be able to just click both the attributes. Correct. Yep. Yeah. Two successes. <laughs> Two successes. Uh, you can use uh, spend a willpower to re-roll if you want, uh, and you did re replenish your willpower from last session. Sure. Uh, so I so what is it? One willpower to per dice I need to re-roll. Uh, it's one willpower for three dice to re-roll. Uh, okay. So if you hit, let's we, do that then. Yeah, willpower yeah. re-roll. It should re-roll it. And then we'll re-roll three of them. Still only two successes. Really? Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, four successes. Four successes, and then Jacques. Uh, I got a skull on one. Uh, uh, oh, God. I believe that means it's uh, it's the red one, too. Uh, Hunger die. A, 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 a bestial failure? Is that what that... Bestial failure, is? I believe, yes. Um, uh, a bestial failure for something like this... Uh, doesn't really do much um, other than you. Yes, the beast kind of growls inside of you as you think about Silas. Your, you know Silas, and you know that the, what you're experiencing with the beast is probably also what Silas was experiencing this evening with his son. Well, he's probably just hungry. I've worked up a little bit of an appetite myself. Well, it was fine. Why? Why are you lying? <sighs> you you what walk are you in, talking about? Dorian, is, Dorian, I know you. He's lying. How am I lying? How am I lying when I've got the, he put the file on the table? Just tell me how this is lying. Got this from Dad. He's not got wrong. That, that's not Dad's handwriting. He doesn't do anything himself. Do you know he doesn't write anything? Dad doesn't pick up a drink to take a sip, all right? He's got people to do that for him. He's got a little sippy straw, I bet. Yeah. <laughs> you probably went in there, asked for his help, got your ass chewed out, and now you're coming back here tuck tail. What did I tell you? Uh, Why would you, you ever up, go to him for help? You make up whatever stories you want. We got the information. You got anything? 
Jacques, you got any information for us? Jacques and I, Jacques and I had a very good conversation. Go ahead, Jacques, tell him. If you want to take this thing down, I got the tools for it. It's not going to be easy. You all might get your hands dirty. Are they or guns? we could. I don't got. You don't. You don't use guns against oh. a wolf, sweetie. Uh, werewolves. They. You really need to cut deep. Uh, here, let me show you. If we're gonna do this, uh, you know, of course, it's probably better if we let someone else take care of it. And Jacques will take you into like the house and open up like this panic room you haven't seen. And when the room opens up, there are weapons lining the wall, uh, most of them silver. And there's spears, swords, uh, knives, things like that. Uh, do we have silver restraints? Because that was something we had. Uh, yeah, that's I got in silver a, that's restraints. That's in a different one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I would, yes. Yeah, we could use these tonight, and if you want, you can take them home. I don't know. Whatever you're into. Can I take the spear? <laughs> Going in. Look, look, look as much as spear. I'd like to arm a Roman legionnaire. <gasps> do, we, do we really... Can't we just, like, tell this thing to fuck off? Do we really have to kill it? You want to talk to it? Most I mean, wolves I know don't take kindly to us. Aren't they Look, like dogs? I, weren't they, didn't they want us to try to capture it alive? Mm-hmm. We can capture it alive. I, I don't want to go to They want proof of its death. What are you going okay, to fake that? I, maybe he'll give me some of its blood. Oh, we're going to lie to them. Look, I know the Anarchs want it dead. It, look, if you're gonna talk to this thing, or you're gonna go kill it, we're gonna need weapons, or you need to hire somebody to take care of it, because otherwise the three of you aren't gonna be able to do it yourselves. I can well, do some go. of the heavy lifting, but you'll need to all do the stabbing. I can do the stabbing. We well, I can do the stabbing. Us. I've done the stabbing. Probably all of you are gonna need to contribute if I'm but that's that's if we're not gonna just pay somebody to deal with this. You said I mean, dad uh, gave we'll you a number. There, what is it? Can we can we pay like can we figure out where this guy sleeps? Ambush him at night? Like can we do this like some black ops shit? Like why 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 are we you know why are we doing this medieval? Like we're in the twenty first century. Like let's let's get we're shit gonna, done. Let's know? swat him. Gotta, let's you, swat him. What do you got? Seal Team Six on fucking speed dial, Dorian? What are you talking about? He might. What, we could pay for Seal Team Six, probably. I mean, why not? We can swat him. It's free. I don't know what seals are gonna do to help the situation. Look, God. wolves don't even eat mammals from the sea like that. So first. What you, what we're, even if you can find where this guy is, we're going to need to either send someone to take care of it or we're going to have to go in and take care of it. If we go in and take care of it, I'm just saying we better be prepared. All right. Willow, you... you. Sorry, was I in the car when you drew... Where did you... You drew the drawing We were all when... together when... Okay. Uh, yeah, we were okay. all together. You know about that. Look, yes. Willow saw the man. She drew a little profile of him. Can't we just give this to someone and they take care of it? Look, it's around Wrigleyville. I don't... You're the resident lupine master, apparent by this room. What the... How long has this fucking been here? Yeah, this is weird. Did we grow up next to this I'll be room? honest, this is, this is pretty yeah. sick, though. It... Look... You're when you pause the Camarilla, you shit. don't know what stuff you're going to end up into. If, if the house got raided again, you know. Again? This is the exact kind of It was before your was time. Expecting. It was before your time. It, Jacques, probably nothing uh, you have to worry about. Jacques, you do remember the War of Chicago in 1993. Yeah. Which... There, there was a time Chicago was not a great place for kindred uh, who weren't ready to fight wolves. Now, your mom and dad, you know, they handled themselves okay. Uh, I, I think we got you kids out of town for it. You remember the trip to, uh, uh, what was it, the, the Poconos or something? I forget what it was we sent oh. you guys to. Well, it was, was somewhere this? nice. What we, what we, we weren't born yet then, right? Uh, a few of you were. Uh, Dorian 
and Silas, I think, were. Okay. Just the boys were. Yeah, or we maybe, would have been. Or, yeah. I wasn't. Mm, I might have been just barely born. Yeah. Anyway, that doesn't matter. I My vote is to not go toe-to-toe with this thing. We use the powers that we have to deal with it. They get us proof. Let the professionals handle it. That's what I'm saying. I'm fine with that. We got the money, but uh, just remember, the prince is relying on the three of you. So whatever you kids decide, you know, it's up to you. Look, I'm I'm not saying that we don't make sure that we're there kindred on site, making sure this goes down smoothly. But like, I, I see no reason why we should not use our money to make this a bit easier. Uh, why, why why shouldn't we have a squad of people backing us up when we go in there? Yeah. I and just want to be there. Look, we're not fighters. Money is our weapon. Ugh, I can't believe I just said that. Holding yeah, the spear. What, is... what do you mean? Oh. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, but, you know, a good... A good leader's got to be on the front line sometimes, right? You got to know what's going on, and look... To Dorian be honest, has a point. These... We're the only kindred in this family. Oh. Like, whoever we're going to talk to, how can we fully trust them? Look, you want to pay someone, pay someone. You want to, you want Uncle Jack's help, you let me know. Willow, I got to put the spear back, sweetie. I can't have it. <laughs> Some other time, okay? Some okay. other time. I have, a, I have another question about the wolf. What is it? If I disappear, do you think he can still smell me? Possibly. Do, yeah, they, uh, see, do they see through our powers? They can. If they're good enough. What I usually do is I try to find something to throw off their scent. Uh, coffee grounds work. Uh, uh, sewage. A rat? Uh, n- rats. I don't know. Rats, sweetie. They don't, they don't leave a big over the trail. Not unless it, like, pisses itself or something, but you, it's hard to do that on command. Yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Speaking well, of, I heard you, uh... She says that. <laughs> you had an interesting <laughs> night with some Anox? Eh. Yeah. They're fun. One of them helped you with your little rat, Machiavelli? Mm-hmm. Malcavelli, he's a Malcavian Valley. Malcavelli. <laughs> Malcavelli. I, like, I like that Jack calls him Malcavelli. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually Malcavelli. the teeth that did that. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it turned out great. Um, little Machiavelli, he comes up onto my shoulder, peeks out. His eyes are dark red. When I was a new kindred, I, I also, you know, the Anarchs were tempting. You know, I, I, I hung with a few of them back then. Of course, there wasn't as much leather back in my day, you know. But, I do uh, a lot of that. Yeah, but the thing is, the Anarchs, they don't... They don't have their shit together, all right? Oh. They... One day, you think you know what they're going to be up to. The next day, someone else is in charge or a different gang moves in. Just be careful meddling with them, all right? There's a reason we are with the Camarilla, and the Camarilla knows what they're doing. But we can be friends with them, right? We can be friends with everybody, as long as we don't compromise ourselves, do something stupid. You drink one of their blood? You can tell me, sweetie. You're so nervous. <laughs> um, she kind of, she gives Machiavelli a little pet. Yeah, just a little bit to make Machiavelli like this. Well, He's if you asked now. me, I could have done that for you, but how much of their blood did you drink? Oh, just a little bit. Like, just a little lick. You don't ever touch that guy's blood ever again, you hear me? Yeah, that's what he said. Okay, he seems all right then, but don't you ever touch his blood again. I don't care 
I, I don't care if you're dying of thirst. You drink Machiavelli before you drink his blood. Do you understand? You drink one bond. of our blood before you drink his. The bond thing, right? That's exactly right. Mm, that's bad. That's... Bad, Lolo. Yes. Well, it won't happen again. Now, uh, later, not now, but later, if the kids want, you know, that whole sharing your, uh, your skills and stuff like that. We can do that. But that's only among the family. Willow, you go sharing your blood with another clan. The uh, Malkavians are going to be pretty pissed. But I don't know any of them. Hmm. Now, you don't know what? any of them yet. But the Malkavians find out you're giving away their blood. But, uh, mm -hmm. you know, between us, family. Between the family, I think we can share a little bit of blood, and that's all right, all right. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'll, I'll. I'll pass on that. No one's taking my blood. Oh. You don't want to be able to sneak in a crowd, hide in a room like I do. That's fine. I'm sure. I'm sure thaumaturgy has ability to do that. Possibly, but you know, everything comes at a cost. Wait, you won't. You won't let us have some of your blood. Why my not? Blood. I was gonna yeah. give you some of mine. Why won't, why won't you share your blood with us, bro? I was gonna share. Bro? Dorian, what the fuck? Are you, what are you talking about? I'm just saying, like, come on. Like, why won't you share your blood with us? That's weird. Because it's my blood. But we share everything. What the I hell is going I was just saying, with, like, like, the way you did with the Anox, we could do it among us. I, as long I, fully, as we... uh, I fully understand that. Okay. That's all I'm saying. I, no one's fighting me. Share now. Share now. What, what do you want me to share? I don't know. Your blood. I don't what know. if I'm dying? If you are Willow, that that's a different story. We're not we're not sitting around this fucking table biting each other for shits and giggles. That's not gonna happen. Well, like if I wanted your power for something. You don't want to share? What Doreen, power? would you share with me? Of course. Family. Okay. Yeah. You got skills, Silas? Other than the the blood magic. The blood magic, you can't... There's nothing we can do to get that, kids. You only yeah. can, you, the only way that you can get learned. it is by learning it. And it's Ramir. Don't even get me. Do you know how much we had to pay to get Silas Jr. in with them? It was... Yeah, it's, like I'm paying, it's like paying to go to college. I'm still curious about that. We're going to have to talk about that one day. It's a long story, but was, yeah. Was, is Dad my sire to save money? Is that why... Well, they spent a lot of money on that death mask. All right, look, Dad's Josiah, because there's always a Ventru in the family. The family's been Ventru for years. Since since my grandfather, it's been Ventru. My oh. grandfather was the first one among us Lysanders who was turned. That's how, that's how we got the name Lysander, you know? Oh, is he dead? Was his, what? Yeah, no, he's he's been dead a long time. So how'd dead, you get the short undead? What? No, he's he's dead, dead. He's final death. True, true oh. death. Yeah. All right. So how did you draw the short straw and get Nosferatu? It's a long story. A lot of long stories in this family. Well, I've been around yeah, for a long time. We live Forgive forever, me. Huh? Good. You know, we got a lot of time to hear stories. You don't got a lot of time. You got a lupine to deal with. It's going to be easy. Now, if you want to share some blood, you know, some of the stuff I got could help you with this lupine. That's all I'm saying. And it's all, like I said, it's all right if we share it in the family. But if any of your clans find out about it, we could be in serious trouble. Well, so, then they're not going to find out. Well... That's the thing. You just got to make sure you're careful about where you use it. In the house, when people aren't around, sure. You use one of these at Elysium, we could all be pissing off all the clans. Understood. Anyway, that, something for the think about. All right, so we're going to go hire some people, right? And then we're going to show up. Yes. 
this guy's house. How are you again? So would you guys like to hire the people your dad recommended or maybe find your own resources to hire to find this this lupine? What's what's your thought? Do you know anything about this? He'll, he'll hold up the business card. You guys don't know too much about this company um, other than you guys own their building. Uh, but you own a lot of buildings. <laughs> so it's hard to keep track of every single one, but you know that it's like an animal control uh, agency. Uh, they, they may not be the most... Uh, humane of organizations uh, but they get jobs done when needed to be done <clears throat> they have good insurance rates so if one of them gets killed we're not going to take that bad of a hit well I mean if if they're trusted if they're a resource we've used already I mean why not go with what works yeah okay. I, does this does this guy I'm just trying to understand these lupines shock this lupine is killing these anarchs I could you know I, I couldn't care less but is this lupine knowledgeable of what he's doing I don't fucking know the wolves okay. the, the wolves are uh some of them got their shit together. Some, you know, I warn you about if you run out of blood, what you can become. Mm -hmm. Correct. As I understand it, the same thing applies to them at times. I don't, I don't know the ins and out, but he, he might have something out against us kindred. That's not uncommon. Or he might have lost his damn mind. Well, I don't think it really matters, does it? I'm just trying to I'm just trying to view him through the lens as I view us. <laughs> well, we're kindred. It's not really the same. And we're family. You know, that's, we got that going for us too. Of of course, look, if he swiped at Willow, no doubt, put him in the ground. But he's killing anarchs. It's not really our problem. Prince I made mean, it our problem. Uh, well, technically, the prince made the Anarchs your problem, and you made some agreement with them, so. Oh, well, Silas, uh, if that's going to be our territory, what's to stop him from killing us once, no, no, once that... it's Camarilla land? Agreed. Once it's our territory. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm all down for getting rid of this lupine. I just... I guess my doctor brain is just kicking in, and maybe he needs some help. You want to talk to him first? I, I want to learn more about him. Is what I want. I, well, I we don't can understand. We can well, we can restrain him first, and then make him talk to us. Right. And then what? If uh, if we decide that he's pretty cool, and we don't want to kill him. And we send him out of town. We try to fake his death, or, or what? Or we just march in there and just and just go kill the anarchs? No. That, I mean, we have a deal with them well, we to get can... them off this to get them off this land. They want proof of this thing's death. It doesn't mean we can't talk to it first before we kill it. There's nothing wrong with talking about it. If maybe this could be a lupine. Uh... You know, if there's a whole pack of them in there, you should probably know. So, uh, why don't we tell the guys we're hiring to use, uh, you know, I don't know, trank darts or something, right? That's what they're called? Yeah. Uh -huh. um, okay, and and uh, with these guys, like with this, like, if we ambush him in human form, like, is it going to be easier? Like, can is it possible? Can we, like bypass they, this whole no, they, wolf aspect they 
they can, and uh, the story tell, tell me if I'm wrong, they can turn into a lupine pretty quickly. They can, yes. Yeah. Well, they can turn dangerous very quickly. Yes, it does yeah. cost things for them to do it, so it's of not, course. but yes, it, it can happen rather quickly, yes. If we go in there, and you say the wrong thing, or you hit him upside the head, but it doesn't knock him out, we could, I'll try my best to keep you all safe. With the four of us, we should manage just fine, but if we were to go in there ourselves, I would want you to take some of my blood first. Oh, to do the thing you taught me? Uh, to do other things I can do. To make sure you kids are a little bit more well-rounded. You can do more than disappear. Jacques grabs, like, one of the weapons, and I'm going to use, uh... What, what, what? I'm going to use my, like, lethal body to just sort of, like, bend some of the steel. Yeah. Um, it, it takes a little bit, but, mm, like, you see me bend it with my hands. Yep. With ease. Oh, is it with ease? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't look like he's really uh, straining his muscles there to do it. Okay, deal. Yeah, well then. It's that or hire these guys. Make up your mind, because... Uh, Why can't we have both? We, we can do the other thing later, but as far as the lupine, decide what you're going to do. We can't keep the prince waiting. Just hire the guys. Okay. So do you want to hire them to be essentially non-lethal? So that you can Correct. talk with the creature. Okay. Um... Okay, so uh, yes, we can do that then. Um, so the plan is you guys hire the animal control group that you own, uh, have them use non-lethal to capture this creature, and then you will investigate and see what happens. Um, all right, so you guys begin bringing this plan into motion and it is going to take a couple of nights for them to do this job to find them um they are the thing is i mean you have the portrait of the person in human form um mm -hmm. but you're probably going to be more so having them look for them in their wolf form um because I know that looks like two yeah uh you do actually yes so you do have like an like a picture, and you're like, we're looking for this one wolf. It's you know been. Willow, you know, we we can't tell them what the whole wolf looks like. They'll they'll freak out. They'll think you're crazy. <laughs> I can just draw it. No. What what color fur does it have? What color fur does it have? Uh, it is gray. It's gray. Okay, we're gonna tell him it has gray fur. Does it have any recognizable marks on it or something like that? Um, there was a, like, on the shoulder, uh, it was missing a patch of fur. It was a little patchy on its shoulder. Mm, that might be, might be a scar. Okay, we can tell, we can tell him that. But you, if you hand these guys a drawing of a werewolf, sweetie, they're gonna. They might lock you up. Well, or okay. they'll call someone, but in my day, they'd lock you up. Hmm. Uh, so, yes, you're able to describe this to them um, and have them try to find the creature. Um, and... Willow, uh, you also have... you. For your own records, you have the portrait of the human form as well, the Hamid form. Um, it is a man. 
Uh, he has very yellow eyes, uh, distinctly yellow eyes, uh, a little bit of a beard. Uh, he is Caucasian, and one thing that you do note that's like very distinguishing about this individual is he has a tattoo of a moon right under his eye. So that is the man that you are looking for in his human form. Um, it takes a couple of nights. So you all uh, spend a couple of nights just waiting after you hire this, these folks. Um, you may even try to like look into this the person in their human form a little bit and see if you could find them in the human form. Um, but regardless, this isn't something that's going to happen uh, overnight. So it does take a couple of nights. Uh, How many nights? Four. I'd say it takes four nights. Can I do a ritual in between those four nights? You can. I'd like to craft a bloodstone. Okay. Uh, so in in VTM, ingredients, would a Tremere just have those at the Chantry, or would I have to source those? Or uh, Unless it's like a very high-level ritual that requires some very specific components, a lower level ritual level one you, ritual it's they probably have it at the chantry yes got it okay mm -hmm. um so got it so it's a small magnet and a liter of blood that's okay. all the ingredients it needs um i need to make a ritual roll at the end of the third night okay and then what is it doesn't say the ritual roll there's no specific roll um what is a role for a ritual? Is uh, it just blood sorcery plus? Yeah, I'm gonna say intelligence plus blood sorcery. Okay. Um, and so craft bloodstone. This the ritual results in a bloodstone, a magical tracker to which the caster always knows the direction as well as general distance. Okay, got it. Four successes. Four successes. So yes, you are uh, successfully able to uh, attune your mind to the bloodstone. Perfect. All right. So Silas, you have this bloodstone. And oh man, if I, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna do this. Uh, since it's four nights, I'm gonna have you all roll four rouse checks for each night. Oh boy. <laughs> but with that, I will allow you to also make feeding rolls um, if you get super hungry. But mm -hmm. you know what? We haven't had many rouse checks in our chronicle yet uh, for each evening. That's so, fair. Uh, night one, everybody roll me a rouse check in the top right. Zero successes. All right, so you get hungrier. Same. Get hungrier. Success. Okay, not hungry. Uh, you're you're new you're new to uh, okay, one. We just rolled the first one. One success. One success. So, uh, Willow and Silas get hungrier. Uh, Jacques and Dorian do not. Uh, what is everybody's hunger at now? Two. two. Three. Two, three. All Ooh. right. Jacques, you could probably feed. Uh, uh, what's, a, what's a feed check? Um, it depends on what your... Uh, if you click on the top right where it says your feeding type, like bagger for Silas. Trapdoor. Uh, yes. If you click on that, I believe it says predator pool. Um... So Jacques, yeah, your trap door, uh, if you click on it, uh, it is charisma and stealth for you. Charisma? Oh boy. Uh, if your victims are entering the kill, or, or dexterity stealth, if, okay, so charisma stealth, if your victims enter your killing ground anticipating a fun night out, or dexterity stealth, if you feed on trespassers, urban explorers, or passerby. I would say you're probably more dexterity stealth. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, okay, one second. Um, 
And Dorian, what was your hunger? Uh, currently, you're just at... I, it's no hunger. I don't think I've uh, gotten any. So you're probably just at hunger one. It should uh, be yeah. just one. Yeah. Um, right? Yeah. Uh, if it hasn't gone up and you're just at one. So, yeah, hunger two for the other two, like, you're not, like, quite there yet. Um, I could probably wait to feed. Um, okay. I will, two then. successes. Two successes? Yeah, I'll say you are able to slate a dot of your hunger um, from this feeding uh, in the evening for your first evening. Now, on to the second evening. Roll a rouse check, everybody. <clears throat> Yay, success this time. Same. Okay. Yay. <laughs> success again. Dang. Success, but I would... Uh... I'm gonna do some more feeding. Okay. Shock set. I'm gonna feed. <laughs> um, yes. You you are able to feed uh, again, Jacques, but uh, you have limited feeding you can do in your own territory um, for a week. Uh, so you can, and this this won't, but if you wanted to feed again like the third night, that's where it might start you might I have to it. go to That's the Nosferatu fine. domain or something like that, and, and you know, be like, "Hey guys, uh, I'm, I'm hungry." Um, so, just so you know, uh, uh, just one success and a red skull. Uh, oh, wait, does it say bestial failure? Uh, it says just one success. It doesn't tell you if it's a bestial failure, I believe. I, I believe skull... it is because it's a red skull. That's a hunger die, right? Uh, and it's one success. Uh, shit. Yeah. Um... Did I have a whoopsie daisy? Is that what I was? Did Jack make a whoopsie daisy? Jack made another whoopsie daisy. This is a feeding roll, and yeah. you rolled a failure. Wait, that bitch is dead. <laughs> yeah. Um, Jacques, you. This isn't. So you only had, yeah, that's just one success. So I would say you don't successfully feed on these, this poor bystander. Um, sorry, just give me a minute. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to decide if you do kill this man. Well, if I kill them, I assume I'm going to also drink them. But if I didn't yes. drink them, then... Maybe they got away and I have to hunt them down later? Yes, sorry, that is correct. Um, you aren't able to successfully feed on them. You, So you're still hungry. You don't kill them. The beast thinks about it as you're getting close. But this person, they're not interested. <laughs> and they... I, I have the beast you'll feel. I'm guessing I like... I like ah, try to grab them and they get away and they are now telling people probably or. Yes, they think that they were about to be robbed by you. Uh, you can are I, able to. Uh, yes. Can I do uh, like an investigation? I, I want to basically find out if this person's maybe going to a therapist to deal with their problems. <laughs> Um, you know, yes, with you this can, traumatic event they just went through. You can roll me a wits, or sorry, you want to you want to investigate a wits investigation, I guess. Ten successes. Jeez. Um, I, I assume you rolled a crit there. Uh, I don't think you have. Yes, I believe I did. Dice pool. Um, yes, you... Yes, this person is thoroughly traumatized from this event and will probably talk to their therapist about it. Hey, Willow, sweetie. Yeah. Uncle yeah, Jock's sweet. made a little bit of a whoops-a-daisy. Uh... But uh, I was thinking maybe you and I could go get lunch together today. Okay. You are uh, like therapists, right? Smart, smart people. The you know. 
<laughs> great, great. You have someone? Oh, I think I do. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. It's like a two for one. Okay. Her, I'll follow. I'm gonna need you to help me hide the body, though. I'm afraid this one might talk a little bit too much. Do we get to take the spear? We don't. Well, I don't think we're gonna need the spear for this, <laughs> sweetie. But I'll tell you what. I'll let you practice with the spear later. Deal. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'll, I'll get. I'll help the murder for a spear. <laughs> I'll get Marvin to uh to get the trunk ready. Um, I'm assuming Marvin's like laying plastic out in the trunk, so that way when we take this body, uh, you know. Uh, yes. Love this for us. So we're. Uh, what my plan is because this person's in therapy, and I know presumably where they're getting therapy, when their appointments are. Yes. Yes. We're gonna go and have we're gonna we're gonna stop we're by their appointment are. for uh yes yes and uh oh, the whoopsie. willow for you just roll me a manipulation persuasion for your hunting okay um is that your forte yeah that's my yes. that manipulation <laughs> and jacques so you are going to feed on the patient while she's talking to the doctor i'm gonna go in probably past him and when she goes and noms on the doctor and the patient freaks out I'm gonna physically wrestle the patient to the ground and then finish what Five I started. Five successes for me. Okay. So Willow you are successfully able to talk Fight. with this doctor, spend time the way you normally do and then feed on them. Uh, the patient um yeah go ahead and roll me then uh your roll jacques can i do which... strength brawl yes you could roll me strength brawl to just straight up grab them uh are you sure you want to to kill this person jacques you know that killing people is is there a way I... if we drink if i drink from this guy can we make sure that he doesn't you remember his wipe, previous encounter? You could wipe his memory. Uh, well, your mother could do that. Um, oh, no! Or, uh, Is Willow able to do that? Not yet. Uh, uh, <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure I can do that. Dorian might be able to... Cloud memory? Yes. Rewind Dorian a little can. bit. Hey, uh, Dorian! Uh, what you doing tonight? <laughs> You yeah, brought the whole family in on this. <laughs> Family's got to look spending, after each other, okay? Spending time with my kids. Well, what, you know, once family. they're to bed, what you doing then? Like around 10 o'clock? What, what's going on? You want to you wanna hang out? Me and Willow are going to uh, go for a bite to eat, but I got to... I, I could use your help with something. This family business. It's a favor to me. All right. And he hangs up and he, uh. Hell so you're like yeah. outside the room. Uh, I rolled three successes to okay. grab this so person. You grab him. Dorian, you join them on this excursion to a, uh, a. Uh, do doctor's office, a uh, for mental health office, um, and you roll uh, roll me a charisma dominate to uh, dominate them. See how well you cloud their memory to forget the events that happened the other night with your uncle, who uh, scared them shitless, potentially breaching the masquerade. Okay, so five successes and one hunger die. Uh, was there a success? Well, uh, what was what was the roll in the hunger die? If five successes is, success, is successes, but I'm curious, was it a success or failure? Uh, a fa I've got a skull on the hunger die. Okay, yeah, it doesn't I've matter. Got one skull. Uh, I, yeah, it, the hunger die doesn't matter. You still roll five successes. Um, okay. So uh, yes, this is all successful. 
Willow is able to feed and uh, slate a dot of hunger. Uh, Jacques, you are able to hold this person down uh, gently. And uh, uh, Dorian is able to uh, cloud memory and have them forget uh, what had happened. Um, Mm -hmm. Is that before or after I drink them? It's technically, I am going to make a, oh, you're going to feed from them as well. Well, I I mean, I I still haven't gotten rid of that hunger, so. Okay, yes, okay, yes. You're going to be able to feed from them. And I realize technically cloud memory only works for like immediate moments, but uh, because you rolled five successes and I am a generous storyteller, uh, and this is an elaborate plan that you all are planning together, I will allow it this one time. Uh, okay. But technically a higher level dominate, you would be able to have them forget things more than just a few minutes away. Um, I will say this is something your mother imparted on you before uh, your your last uh, her last moments um, on the boat, but uh, I will allow it this one time. Um, Fair. But just so you guys know, uh, and, and it's okay, uh, Jacques. You, I know you're just trying to clean this whole thing up, but uh, we will say for we're not going to have you all breaching the masquerade uh, tonight. <laughs> so you're you all are able to clean it up. Uh, all right, third night, go ahead and roll your rouse checks. And I got the hunger back. Oh, success. Man. Another another success. I, I am rolling good. All that work for getting I'll, another I'll hungrier. for nothing. Okay. So, so Jacques failed. Anybody else failed? I did. Okay. Um, so I'm back to two. All right. And then final fourth night... Everybody, roll me one last rouse check. We're good. Okay, I succeeded. Good. I succeeded. All four succeeded. Damn, right. he don't. He not. You got hungry. it together, Dorian. Yeah, I'm at three hunger. Uh, is Ooh. the only way to get hunger from failing a rouse check? Correct, but that's not and- just for the evenings. That's if you use certain disciplines, you will rouse as well. Right. Okay. Also, so, I always forget to say this, but you before you make a big roll, you can actually rouse your blood to get extra dice added to your dice pool as well. I'm sorry I keep forgetting to, to tell you guys that, but I will make sure before you guys have like a big roll, like for something big that you don't want to fail, uh, you can rouse your blood to add dice to your dice pool as well. Uh, so what's everybody's hunger at this evening? Two. 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 So I so, so that's why I had a question because when I diablerized, I went down to zero, right? You did, yes. And I have not since failed any rouse checks. So what? should I be at, You're at a zero god still? Among, uh, Dorian, a <laughs> god among men. Um, <laughs> Am I still at zero? Is what I'm asking. Even after like a time, um, or should I no. stay? At, should I be at one? No, you should be at one because it's okay. been. We had a time skip. There's no Exa- way. <laughs> that's but what for, I thought. For the roles that we've done in this current time, that is quite impressive. That you've not failed a single rouse check yet. Um, but yes, you would be at hunger one. Fair, fair. All right. <laughs> Uh, and then Jacques, what was your hunger at? I'm three? at three. Okay, you're you're hungry again, Jacques. Uh, could we, you uh, could pr- you know, maybe order some blood dolls out? You know, uh, I could I could just eat out. Uh, you know, I could have a uh, takeout tonight. That's fine. Uh, yes, you could. Um, I'm actually gonna have you. Uh, I just want to see if there's a roll for... You know what? You're able to get your blood doll. Uh, go ahead and make me a, another feeding roll. Uh, which dexterity and stealth mm-hmm. is your feeding roll. Uh, two successes. Okay, yeah, two, you're able to successfully feed. You just uh, slate one dot of mm-hmm. your hunger. So you're at hunger two. All right. So uh, th- this night, um, Dorian, you're the one who made the call to this company. Uh, you gave them all the information. Uh, you called them again from your business phone. Uh, and as you all know, you're not allowed to have personal phones, but Dorian mm-hmm. has a business phone for business only uh, and 
uh, you literally are not allowed to make personal calls. Um, the phone blocks them. Uh, so you uh, get a call from this company and they, um, they, a, a, a man on the phone seems a little distraught. Uh, 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 Mr. Lysander, sir. Uh, yes. Uh, Is there a problem? Uh, there might be a, a, a small problem. Um, so, uh, this morning, uh, we were able to, to catch the, the dog you were looking for, the, the really big dog. Um, sure. We, we caught it, uh, we tranked it, it was passed out. Uh, then we, uh, uh, we woke up and, uh, or, you know, we came and checked on it again and, and, uh, so I think we fucked up, man. Like, I think we got a guy. There's a guy here. Like, I, I, I don't know if one of my guys messed up. This is going to be a huge lawsuit. Um, wow, you guys uh, really fucked up, huh? Uh, hey, uh, look, so you got a you got a guy there. Look, uh, shit, this probably wouldn't look good for anybody here. You should keep this real quiet. All right. Now. Why don't we set up a meeting to figure out what we're going to do about this, right? You have him knocked out right now? Uh, he, yeah, he's he's looking yeah, yeah, he's he's passed out. All right, you just keep him knocked out. Just keep whatever you got to do to keep him passed out. We're going to take care of this. There'll be a nice bump in pay for everybody on that team to keep their mouth shut. None of this happened. All right. Um, yeah, uh, I, I I think that'll that'll work. Yeah. All right. So we're not going to tell anybody about this, right? N no, uh, no, sir. We're we're not gonna we're not gonna say anything about that. I, I think that's fine. We just yeah, we were not we won't say anything. Okay, I'll take care of this for you. We'll uh, be and you're you guys are gonna be all right. Yeah. Don't worry Thank about you, it. Mr. Lysander, I, you know, they say the, I, I knew that the Lysanders, I could count on them. Uh, I could count on them for anything. Uh, thank you, sir. You owe me uh, one. Of course. Of course, sir. Mm -hmm. I'm suddenly uh, realizing Dorian's probably going to blackmail that guy later to eat off him, isn't he? <laughs> you might. He might. He's got, <laughs> uh, so the guy uh, sends you the address of the location where they're hiding this guy. Okay. Yeah, so I would tell everybody like, all right, they got the guy. He's, uh, he's tranked up. Although I don't really trust them to do a good job of this. So I feel like we should go in with our, uh, on, on our toes. Now, you're sure none of you want to drink some of my blood first? Yeah, I'll take a shot. Go ahead. We're we'll figure it, that like, out shots? later. I give you guys, I'm going to give you guys weapons. Uh, what kind of weapon do you take? Spear. Spear. Give me the dagger. Close, dagger. Closest thing to a scalpel I, I know. Yeah, take two in case you drop one. Okay. You're telling me that we, we don't have silver bullets? That's like classic. Hey, silver shit, bullets. Right? Guns aren't great for them. You really want to make sure you, you cut deep. All right. Uh, you can handle a I machete, right? <laughs> I, I want the, the sword. Okay, yeah, that here one. you go. He points at like a big broadsword. Maybe you should uh, swing it around. Yeah, maybe a smaller sword for you. Do it do it like this. She starts spinning the spear. Let's Dorian, let's start with the smaller sword. I'll hand you like Did a you slightly say you smaller. Give me some uh some fucking super strength with your blood, right? Wait, well, 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 yeah, we'll figure out. that out. Come on. <laughs> um and then yeah, I'll I'll go with them in case this lupine gets up and starts killing people. Okay. Uh, Jock, you're going to go with them? Uh, 
as discreetly as I can in case this lupine attacks them. I want to be able to fight back. Okay. Um, so you all grab some weapons and begin to head out. Uh, Dorian, it may look a little, well, for both of you, it may look a little strange carrying a spear and broadsword uh, <laughs> in Chicago. I'm assuming we're leaving those in the car yes, before we go um, out. I'm a theater. I work in a theater. This is a prop. But uh, yes, you're not going to be out in public too much. Like you're going to, yeah, probably just drop it off in the car. Nobody's going to see you. Yeah, but... I'm assuming there's not like a, you know, a, a public place for meeting yes. the guys. Oh, they... Also, I mean, we probably have like a case, like, like, you know, like a guitar case, like a bag, a duffel bag or something, right? Like fair in order enough. to transport this yeah. in yeah. these things. That's fair. Um, okay. So you all make your way uh, over to... This building. Um, and that is where we will take a quick break to see what happens. Oh, hey. We will be back uh, in. Uh, be careful 10 with the spear, minutes. sweetie. Okay. <laughs> okay we shall uh, return. Be right blood, back, blood, everybody. Blood, blood, blood. There we go. Mm, blood. Yeah. Oh, that reminds me, I need to get something to eat.
multiple boyfriends. <laughs> we return to Ancestral Blood for our second half, where the Lysanders, uh, including Jacques, uh, head in their limo over to this uh, nondescript location. And you know what, Jacques? You know this company. You know, uh, you more than any of uh, the Lysander children know uh, this, this company that you hired to take care of this problem. What does this place look like that they are going to? Uh, well, I, uh, yeah, this place, it's, uh, I believe it's, we're not going, they didn't, like, bring this guy somewhere special, right? They, I'm assuming we're at wherever they found this guy and shot him. Uh, no, they took him to uh, a nondescript location. It's probably a kennel then. Uh, guys probably in some back room where they usually wash the dogs. It is a small building. Uh, and it is, there is technically a shopping center um, where this is. And there's other, like, there's like a Chinese food place. That, that's the only other place that's really open in this uh, location. All the other shops are closed. There's like clothing stores and things like that. And then you see this like animal control building. And yes, the lights are still on and uh, you all enter into the room. The uh, gentleman looks in distress and uh, he directs you to the back kennel uh, where you do see a person laying on the ground. He looks out of it. He looks like, yes, either he was drugged or tranked, whatever it was, and he's just kind of getting out of that haze a little bit. Now, we do have two uh, characters who have obfuscate. Um, Yes. How are you all entering into the room? Obfuscated. Okay, so you're in obfuscated, Willow. You're invisible. I would do that once I got out of the car. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Jacques, what about you? Are you heading in as yourself, uh, or are you going to obfuscate in any way? Yeah, I think I'll uh, I'll go in. Since I'm just following the other kids, I'll go in obfuscate as well. Ooh. Okay. Um, can I specify something else with my obfuscate yes um as before we go in dorian can i have your jacket you're muted uh, uh why i'm really cold can i just have your jacket all right thank you yeah sure. and i will put his jacket his suit jacket over me before i obfuscate okay you put his jacket over, Probably and uh, and then Silas and Dorian, uh, the two of you head in. Yep. Uh, yes. So Silas, you can tell that he is definitely has been tranked or drugged. Um, you look at this man below you, and it takes you a second to register. But you see him, and at this time, I would like to bring our guest onto the screen. Yes. Uh, everyone, give a welcome to Craigums. Oh! <laughs> no! Why? You, Why is he so hot? You look at this man below you, and we can absolutely zoomify can, can, if we would like to. Uh, you take a mind. good. You take a good look at him. He's well built wearing a dark green jacket. You do not see any sign of tattoos on him or anything. He absolutely does not look like the sketch that Willow drew. This is not the guy you're looking for, but he does lay here in front of you. Looking, just getting out of his haze and Uh, waking, well, waking up, um, 
he says. That doesn't... Oh, sorry. I was going to say... That doesn't match the description we were given. You want to tell me why... This room has... Can I smell everyone in the room? You can smell me? all four of them in the room right now. <gasps> no! Why, you want to tell me why four worms spawn are in this room with us right now? Can you just I, think, up? I think Silas will look over at Dorian. Um... Look. Mm -hmm. I mean, let's just start with simple. What's your name? I'm not feeling very generous with my name right now. Why don't you start off with your name? My name is I, Silas. I will reveal myself at that and just. <laughs> oh. Um, I would like to use stare down. <laughs> oh, <it's Titanic. laughs> All right, it's a good thing I got this book. Uh, <laughs> Tracy pulling out the book. I was like, Craig, I don't know what, what stare down is, but it sounds it's, right. Yeah, it yeah, right. Is this, I can is read this... it for you guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Craig, we won't have to use any of your gifts and rights tonight. It's just gonna be, you know, it's, it's like, fine. Sure, yeah. <laughs> oh my God, yes. Uh... <laughs> With an unyielding gaze, the Garu establishes themselves as the apex predator, causing humans or animals to cower or submit. Other supernatural creatures are less likely to yield, but even they can be shaken by the burning eyes <clears throat> of the guru. Get him. So he doesn't uh, even say anything. He just sees the uh, the worm well, spawn. What kind of save shell. would it be or? You would I have to roll, roll me. Uh, I, yeah, I don't know if you have to roll anything. Um, I think I do. Craig, but I would say, uh, you know what? It says charisma plus honor versus composure plus resolve. Okay, so roll me uh, composure and resolve, Jacques. Uh, and then Craig, Oh, roll that's me for everyone in the room. Everybody in the room, this roll me a composure. I'm so great. Uh, Craig, thank oh you Oh my God, reading. it's time. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a uh, question. Is this uh, a dominate or presence power? No, it is not. Um, so, uh, Craig, for you, um, since Demiplane doesn't have werewolf character sheets, unfortunately, Craig is using a PDF uh, werewolf 5e character sheet. Um, so we will have to have you do physical rolls. Uh, so you uh, will roll d10s. Um, mm -hmm. And so you said it was your honor plus... Uh, uh, my... Charisma? Charisma. So okay. you will take how many die you have in charisma and how many die you have in honor. So that should Got be you. two, two, three, three. Uh, four, five. So you have, uh, roll five d10s. Okay. And anything six or higher is a success. Oh, and then we roll composure and resolve. Yes, and all of you roll composure and resolve and let me know how many successes oh this is a great start a... three successes for myself seven successes nice four, four successes four uh, successes four. as well uh four for me okay four this is going to the garu the <gasps> four. So... could i Use a what is it like a? Oh uh, yes, you can willpower to reroll one. Willpower reroll. Uh, if any of you want to, yes, you could spend your oh, willpower yeah. to reroll. We'll do that. Uh, three of the, up to three of your dice. Uh, after we click reroll, do we click the one we want to reroll? Yeah. Or do we it click should, the ones should, we want to? It keep? should automatically reroll. Does yeah. it not? Well, no. It it shows me what I got. And then it lets me like oh, highlight. Click, you, Correct. You pick up to three ones that you want to re-roll. Okay, got it. Okay, sure. That brings me to five successes. Okay, I only had five. one dice I could re-roll. I'm okay. still three. Uh, and that's actually Four. same for you, Craig. If you want to spend a willpower, you can re-roll oh, up to three of your dice. <laughs> he can roll higher. <laughs> uh, well, I got four successes, so 
Four success I, is good. Oh. I mean, out of how much your five, oh yeah, that? your five die pool. So you could roll that one die and re-roll that one die if you spend. Oh, I have plenty power. of willpower. Yeah, I'll do yeah. That. Why not? Fuck it. Ah, uh, fail. Okay, so only four successes. Yeah. Um, Jacques five. Uh, Silas seven. Willow, what was yours? Uh, I rolled three successes. Three, and then Dorian. Four. Oh, three plus the two on the reroll, so I guess five. Five. Okay. So Dorian is the only one who's going to have to roll me a resist frenzy. Oh. Uh, as, um, <laughs> the rest of you, you do so. The the three of you, Jacques, Willow, and Silas. You do feel the beast quell up in you in fear for a moment upon looking at this man. I have vivid flashbacks to the War of Chicago. Not the war. You, Jacques, have seen it. You've seen Lupine destroy your kind in a swipe of their, of their enormous mitts. You've seen how tall they can be in one of their forms towering over you. They would be as tall as this room you're in if they were to shift right now. It gives you all a sense of fear that maybe you aren't the predator anymore. Maybe you are the prey for the first time in your unlives. And Dorian, this stirs up in you more than the rest of your family. This causes a fear deep inside you. The beast tells you, you need to get out of this room right now. So I want you to roll me, and I don't even know where this is on the Demi plane character sheet. Um, where is a frenzy roll? Uh, it's, I'm used to it on roll 20. Um, I don't think it is. So I mean, we might have to roll this, we might have to look up the uh, the old fashioned way. God, I threw yeah. the game off. I'm so yeah. sorry. <laughs> no, this is this is amazing. Um, <laughs> thanks everybody for uh, what what is a frenzy roll? Is it like uh, it willpower? Is, I, I I've God, it's been a while. We haven't done this since uh, we haven't done this. It's a good thing I have. I'm seeing a thing. It book. says page two nineteen. Willpower it's... plus a third of your humanity rounded down. <sighs> Math. Uh, <laughs> third, what's he's if he's at humanity seven, what's a third of that? Two. Two? So uh you said it was willpower plus a third of his humanity? Yeah. So his willpower is six. I know that I'm looking at Silas. Um Dorian, what's your willpower? His willpower is five plus two, so his dice pulls seven. Um, and for fear, uh, for fear, he has to beat, uh, for fear, fury, hunger, terror. Uh, I'm gonna say this is, I'm gonna say this is difficulty three. Um, so Dorian, so roll me five, six, seven dice, and you have to get at least three successes. Well, and... His willpower, did you re-roll any? Because that would reduce his willpower, right? Yes. Uh, he normally has six, and oh, okay, got right it. now he has five. Yes. I was just realizing yep. it on my side, too. Yep. So I'm rolling just uh, 7d10. What, it, what? I'm sorry. I had to step away yep. for just a second. Yep, all good. Just roll me 7d10 and tell me how many successes you get. And a success is six or over, right? Yes. Yep. It should tell you... Uh, only three successes. Oh, that, that just makes it. So you okay. resist the fear, but for a moment, for a moment, you want, your beast almost demands you to leave this room. But you hold and maintain <clears throat> composure. You all fe feel it though. It's uneasy. Keep what it together, about, Dorian. What Maybe about the we pet? just kill this thing. Machiavelli? Yeah, that that is also Machiavelli is an animal. <gasps> Machiavelli, <laughs> you gonna have my fucking rat run, bitch? <laughs> oh, okay, we're fighting now. Okay, now I'm gonna fight. 
Machiavelli, you look down Willow and you see Machiavelli shaking in the bag, in your in your purse. He doesn't want to leave your purse. Okay, I hold my purse tighter. Oh man, if you think you can take me with these pups, go for it. But if not, you better put that mouth back closed before I rip your jaw off. I'm not fucking I'm scared of you. It doesn't matter if you're not afraid, but why don't you ask your kinfolk? You know, you're really hostile for a dog in a cage. Can I just break out of this? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 Yes. Is he breaking out? Oh, he can. He breaks All out right. immediately as soon as Dorian says <laughs> Just that. Just lifts it up like it's like it's brittle sticks. I pull out my sword. Oh, <laughs> okay. Everyone, everyone, let's let's take a second. Come on. My name is Silas. Thank Apologies you, Silas. for not so warm of a welcome. I got a nice nap out of it. He I just want to say the rest of them. I just want to say if anything happens or if there's any further intimidation, I'm going to use relentless grass to try to hold them down. Okay. I'm backing away. Can I see the moon? Not in the gotcha. not in this room. <clears throat> yeah. Look. So I wake up. You 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 got a good nap. My name is Silas. Your name is. You call me Finn. Fine. There we go. Fine. Like I said, apologies for such a cold wake up call. Probably not something that you're quite accustomed to. And you're probably wondering why you're or were in a cage. Not at all. You see, I'm looking for somebody. And then oh. I saw your, uh, I'm assuming from the way y'all look, employees hunting for something. And I took it as my route in my own hunt to uh, figure out who they work for. Hmm. And who are you I looking for? See, hmm. A friend of mine. Describe them. I'm gonna need you to, um, you seem to be the voice of reason over here, Doc. I try to be. So I need you to, uh, make sure anyone else in this room stops talking. Can you do that yeah, for that's me, Silas? Not, that's not gonna be, uh, that's not gonna be a thing. Uncle, why don't you Take a step back. Go on. I've killed Lupine before. You touch one of them. And there's no doghouse you can hide in. And I'll back up. Thank you. Again, apologies. Guys are very hostile. He's probably a bit hungry. Hmm. He's probably hungry. Why don't you feed on those uh newborn whelps? Isn't that something you worm spawn do? I can smell them all over. What the hell is this? This worm is my spawn? family. Hmm. Y'all don't know what family is. More like cattle to y'all, ain't it? Back to what your. What does that even mean? Back to your friend. Was he a good friend? A bad friend? He's a friend. He's real family. Real family. Got it. Got it. Okay. Uh, 
Um, well, can I tug on Silas's jacket? I'm gonna try and do it yeah. in a way that it's not apparent that nothing is tugging on your jacket. Because mm. uh, I realize I have not revealed myself yet, even though he knows I'm here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of whisper in his ear, should I show him the picture? I think that'd be a good move. Okay. She will <laughs> kind of peek from behind Silas and reveal herself. And she will walk. She'll set the little spear down. And she'll pull out a piece of paper from her purse. And she will approach you, Fen. Did he look like this? That's him. I've seen him. Well, in my visions. I think he's in a lot of trouble. He stays in trouble. He's murdering people. People? Yeah. Humans? No. Okay. And that's not a problem for you at all, is it? Not at all. What? What are we wasting our time here for? I think you, think this, you think this guy's gonna help us find his friend? Well, why not? You'll have to forgive them it's the first time they're interacting with the lupine. It's also Silas's, but he doesn't need to it's know Not that. my first. <laughs> You're all new to this, I'm assuming. Relatively. Hmm. Has the old man told you what I'm capable of? He has. And you think yeah. a spear, a sword, I don't need my heightened senses to tell that. Your sibling over there doesn't know what he's doing with it. Possibly. Maybe I take it from him. Maybe you, you do. You won't be able to. I'm stronger than I look. Are you stronger than me? I think so. I fought bigger wolves. All right. Can both of you put your dicks away? Why can't we just be nice? Have a conversation? All right, let's have a conversation. So yes, we are looking for that person, that drawing. He's got a bounty on his head. Big one. And I'm assuming you thought some animal shelter folk were gonna capture him? Captured you. I think you and me both know that that wasn't what would happen. Mm. Right. You're kind of just like the sleeping kennels. Mm. Look, he's just stretching. This... And he starts getting to stretching look. to the point of... Look, look, look. He looks like he's about to do some exercise. What, a, what this... about a... Well, oh, this guy. We can be nice. I'm trying to be nice. Well, I'm we, trying. I'm, we can be nice, Fen, right? Fen? Completely ignores her. Silas, I like you. You like to have a conversation. Oh, yes. You like to get to the bottom of things. Yes. Look, like I said, your friend has a price on his head. He's been killing one too many Kindred up in Wrigleyville. Someone noticed. People brought us in. Look, it's a long story. They want him gone. So if this is a close friend to yours, I don't... I don't propose you can tell us where he is. If that were the case, you think I'd be taking a nap in a kennel? No. Now, I don't like warm spawn, but I notice something when I look at all of you. I see a suit, I see a doctor, 
and I see you as possible tools that I could use to find my friend. Now, I mean you no harm, but I can tell that you're used to having power and control over a situation. So would you like to, me to feign that for you so that everyone in this room feels more comfortable? Or should I thin the herd and then work with who I like? I'd say the former. That's why I like you. So now that we can all relax a little bit, Like I said before, is this a friend friend or someone that you have business with? I can tell you a little story. The Garu, or how your friend here likes to call us dogs. We have packs, tribes. And he is a part of my pack. And I will make sure that he comes home with me. You can fight. <laughs> you could try. But know that if that happens, maybe, um, and he turns to job, maybe history repeats itself. Neither of us want that. You guys lost just as many as we did. So why don't we work together? Here's the thing, though. If your friend is killing vamps, even if we were to let him go, how long? How long before they send more of us? How many other wolves are going to end up getting dragged into it? Uh, Lupine, I'm sorry. Goru. G Goru. Right. How many other Goru are going to be pulled into this? If your friend's killing vamps willy-nilly, sounds like you got some house cleaning to do. Hmm. You see, I don't like Chicago anymore. I don't like coming here very often. And I told my pack that we don't come here. But this individual is a little more... He turns the willow. Rebellious. <laughs> now he wants to talk to me. I see. And a few of mine have been going missing. So, maybe I can get to the bottom of this if I get talking to him. Like I said before, I don't want to be here. I'm just here to find my own. And sadly, with some of your folks falling in the situation, I apologize for that. No, they're not our folks. Oh, then I don't give a shit about them. They're our folks. They're kindred. But I'd be happy to uh, assist in any way as long as we stick to the deal that I just made. I'm going to just walk up to Silas and you guys. And... There's nothing wrong with working with the Lupine, Goru, whatever. But if you were asked to kill this thing, it's only a matter of time before this turns sideways. This is a bad idea. We're going to have to talk to the Anarchs. You think you can go back to them and tell them sorry we let them go? Well, I was thinking more, hey, if you want this one, we might have a whole pack problem. So think about how badly you want this one dead. You know? Do we have a pack problem? Or do we just have two wolves? Silas. 
Yes, Fen. I can smell the, uh, the medical equipment, the, you work at a hospital? I do. You've been in the ER? <laughs> yes. Imagine this one with the great sword. I tear his intestines out and slice him up the chest, making sure that his rib cage is shattered. You think you could work through that? That'd be tough. But you could do it. I'd do my best. He threatens me one more time. We're going to find out. Uh, I thought we were speaking privately, by the way. Did he hear me <laughs> speaking super he's got, he's got guru uh, ears, Just man. making sure. <laughs> just making sure. He heard it. All right. This is your kid's job. You tell me what you want to do. Well, I mean, the other option is disappointing the prince. Or we could Dorian's just let the guru anything. We could just let the guru rip all the annex apart in that park. Not all of them. Can we keep at her? No. I'm gonna keep him. You don't own him. It, we could... <sighs> I mean. Our job is to get that park. Yeah. Then, in order for you to take back your buddy, we're going to need proof, something worthwhile to give to our patron for the job. Hmm. I can think of a few things. There you go. I'll think of a few things. Dorian is just honestly not saying anything. He's keeping his mouth shut. Likewise. So is that the deal then? The very tense air between Silas and Fen, there's some understanding that you need the park, so maybe if Fen's willing to give something of his or his friend saying That's the job enough. is done, that might be enough for you all, and you just find this other lupine and he and Fen can skedaddle out of Chicago. Perhaps? Sounds, sounds good to yeah. me. Again, Dorian is silent. <laughs> <laughs> as long, Fen, as you get him out of this city. Last thing I need is a knock on my door and I'm weak saying another one's been shredded in this park. Shouldn't be a problem. Okay. Fen, you have the last lead on where he might be. When you were looking last night before you were, you noticed these people hunting you and then you let yourself get tranked to see what was going on, you were looking near the park and were following a trail outside of this park near Wrigley Field and it led you to a sewer grate. You were trying to investigate the sewer grate, but you weren't able to head down into the sewers. Are, are we going straight on this hunt or do we have time? Dorian's not talking because any vo like Mr. Super Hearing over here is going to hear anything of dissent, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty he's he's not going to want to go straight off onto the mission. Okay. Uh, you don't have to do that yet. I am just letting Fen know where his last Understood. trail was. 
just, if, yeah, just wanting to make sure. Sorry. That's where you last know where they were. If you care to relay that information to these kindred, you could. But that was where you were last looking. Uh, yes, he would. He would relay that information. Now. Yes. I'm assuming you and your friends don't want to uh, travel with me, so I'll meet y'all there. Well, why not? Why not? Yeah. What will? Travel together. There's business to discuss because with this deal. we don't. But then, what if he just fucks off? Because we don't want to travel together. Well, can I go? <laughs> Absolutely not. N- nothing personal, Fen. You, you, can I you go? understand. No. I'm asking him. I have no qualms with it. I have questions. Well, oh, sweetie, this is not... This isn't another pet for your amusement. I, I No, that's not what I'm doing. I just have questions about the... The Garros, that, that would, that's the proper term, right? Close enough. I'm just trying to learn, and here's one that's willing to talk. Mostly. I'm sorry, did you, uh, what did you tell us about where you last found this person? Uh, I'm saying this... for oh, Ben. yeah. Uh, Wrigley Field, Sue Great, right? Yeah, and he gives an, a direction of, it was like, northeast uh, of the park. Uh, you think he went into the sewers? Right. That makes sense. Hmm. Can you two watch after your sister? Yes. Then can I just ask my one question if I'm not allowed to go? Yeah, of course. Also, you can ask questions afterwards. I just, maybe we should talk as a family. Okay, a well, bit. I, there was just a burning question I had, Mr. Fenn. Yes, ma'am. Um, so, and she's gonna like gesture to her wearing, um, like the oversized coat. So, I thought I was gonna be able to trick your sense of smell, but it wasn't enough. How do you do that? What would be enough? Wouldn't it be something like over heightened, like too much? But yes. not really, a tr- you know. Yeah, it, I, yeah. I think it would have to be. She'll yeah. hand the coat back. She'll take it off and give it back to Dorian <laughs> at that point because her <laughs> trick did not work. Mm-hmm. It would have to overpower your own scent, essentially. Like if you rolled around in like. Dirt or something. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I don't know why this is the first thing. Yeah. Uh, Something like that. Yes. I don't like Chicago because of the smell. Oh. And the sewer situation is going to be difficult for me because the smell. Maybe I don't go to concerts too loud. The sewers are NOS territory. I'm going to go make some inquiries. Did I answer your question? Yeah. So you just have super heightened smell and, and hearing. Oh, gotcha. this is... Interesting. Hmm. Thank you for the information. Sharing of, free sharing of knowledge, as a friend told me. Very important. I, I can answer a question of yours if you want one. As a I trend. don't. Okay. There's nothing against you. I just don't want to be here. I just want to get my folk out of here as soon as possible and leave. Something is going wrong in this city, and I don't like it. The sooner I leave, the better. And the doctor going with him? I'm going on my own. I got to meet up with some NOS to figure out what if they know anything about the sewer grate or anything <laughs> happened under Wrigley. <clears throat> and how do we find you? I'll try to meet you there. Here, take this. And I'll give him the bloodstone. <laughs> and finally, let you make one of these? Hmm. What did you one. say, Zari? 
They, they I made, let me make one oh. of these? This is, I've always wanted, always wanted to make one of these. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm guessing that allows me to communicate with you. I can, I know where the bloodstone is at all times. Mm. We can find you. If it's we a little tracking device. Mm. It's your air right. tag. Mm-hmm. You kids be tag. safe. <laughs> you kids be safe. You as well. we'll I make one more like direct eye contact with Ben. And I just exit. They'll be all right. As long as they don't do anything stupid. <laughs> All right, can we go? Yeah. Yeah. Ben, you have a good night. Apologies about the tranquilizer. <laughs> it's fine. So you all make your separate ways heading to this location, uh, the sewer grate in Wrigley. The, the tents, Literally, yeah. as soon as we get in the car and we drive off, Right. Dorian's There's like a couple ready. moments of silence. He's going off. And I'm and I'm like, have you? Lo- are you guys fucking stupid? Have you lost your damn minds? What the Whoa. fuck is that in there? What kind of? We're. At- am I am I crazy here? Like this, we come into this situation. This man has done nothing but threaten us at every turn. We are going to find his friend to go turn him over to the Anarchs to kill him. And we're gonna make a deal with him? First of all, I don't see any situation in which this guy doesn't try to kill us as soon as we find his friend. But even if he does, how the fuck are we supposed to get away with our deal after this? How, how are we supposed to make good on the deal that we made with the Anarchs? I don't know. I mean, look, Ben said he'd give us something to prove his friend was gone. The guy that has shown us nothing but abject hostility and wanting to kill us and rip our throats out at any given Do- moment, we're going to trust that guy? Dorian, you called someone to tranquilize him and lock him in a cage and then walked into the fucking room with a broadsword. And you weren't showing hostility? Jacques fucking growled at him. What? So get off your fucking soapbox and let's do this goddamn job. You're not doing the job. You're trying to have a deal? Like, you're trying to what? Get this guy out of town? The job is kill a goddamn werewolf. And and what, what you goddamn me- medieval knight walking with a broadsword? No, I'm. we should have gotten out of that situation. That's not the guy we're fucking looking for. What are okay. we doing? And what? And then he just breaks out and kills everyone. And then we have 10 bodies to clean up in a abandoned warehouse with some rat catchers. It's going to be our bodies being cleaned up. This guy's going to turn on us. He has nothing but hatred for our kind. I, I don't see how anybody didn't sniff that out. You don't need heightened senses for that. Or he just wants to get his friend out of Chicago. And if he does, then we're not making good on our deal. How so? We the promised an- a The Anarch wolf. said that we, if we took care of it, they just need proof. What if he doesn't give us proof, though? We what know we what proof then? is. They want a dead wolf, and they asked us to capture him alive, if possible. Okay. Clearly. Look, who gives a shit? Get him out of the park? Like, who, who cares? You want to kill a bunch of Anarchs after this next? When we make, when we have to... I'm not killing anybody. You're the one that made this deal. We made this deal together. We made this deal to... Come in with your little file. You were on board for this. We we had a plan. We decided decided on diplomacy. And now you're going against that diplomacy. Now you want to make a deal with, what, a lupine? We have no... At the very least, Anarchs are kindred. We know we can trust them on that level. They don't hate our existence, but this? Then why didn't you speak up or were you too scared to speak up? What? Yeah, of course I was scared. Motherfucker could hear everything I said. Now I wasn't gonna say that in front of him. Well, I don't know what to tell you, Dorian. Sometimes you make bad business deals. If we get proof that his, like, look, 
Maybe we get something that is substantial. Just because they want a full dead lupine doesn't really, you know, we bring them back proof that he's gone and they either honor the deal or they don't. Who says they were going to honor the deal even if we brought a full a full blooded lupine? You don't know that. They're they fucking anarchs. Jackson. No, they work with Jackson. Do they not? I, I, then why aren't they part of the Camarilla? I don't know. I mean, mm. look, if you were going, if we were going to go this route, if we were going to turn on them to begin with, then that should have been the plan. I mean, if that's what we were going to do, but we made a deal and I don't see how this is a smarter deal. I don't see how we trust this guy who has every reason to hate us because we did trank and capture him and have told him that we're looking for his friend. I don't know and about you. I wouldn't trust. I wouldn't trust us as far as he could throw us. Although I think he probably could throw us pretty far if, if what I'm understanding is no, true. I, Maybe that's not a good expression here. And so what, you wanted to just kill him in that room? I don't know. Get the fuck out of that situation to, to begin with, but to work with him? Like, seriously consider working with him? I don't know what to tell you, Dorian. I'm trying to keep us as safe as possible. And going toe-to-toe -to -toe with that blue pine in that small room, that didn't that didn't smell good to me. Oh, look, can we stop with the smelling puns? It's like the third one I've heard this conversation. So look, you, you, you could have beat your chest and took a big breath and spoke up, but you didn't. Simple as that. Spoke up in what? Dissent in front of... Show dissent from the family in front of our enemy? I'm not, I'm not stupid. No, we are a unified front in this case. I'm... This is a, a a force that could that we have to take seriously. It's not. And I am silly, taking this seriously. Anarchs. I am taking this seriously. I, I I don't know what you want me to do. I tried to I, I, I tried to go in peacefully, and Jacques fucking growls at him like a goddamn animal. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Who sends three we... neonates to kill a fucking werewolf? Not me. You think that's the point? I don't know. What if this is... What if this... Those anarchs are string theory immediately. They said they work closely with Jackson all the time. Surely he had to know, right? If the... Look, if the prince didn't know that dead Anarchs were ending up in a territory he was invested in, something's fucking fishy. That's all I'm saying. So surely he had to know that there were Lupine involved, and if that's the case, why would he send three fucking babies to do it? Unless there's something we're missing, or there's a test that we're supposed to complete. It Maybe this, maybe the task isn't the task. Your guess is as good as mine. You all arrive <laughs> to uh, the the car Sweats. pulls up. Marcus pulls up, and yes, Fen. Um, I'm I don't know if they'd hear this, but I'm trying. I, game mechanics. I need to build rage. Uh, so there's just probably never heard it in Chicago or recently. Sometimes you hear a howl in the distance. I hate that. At the end of that conversation, I'm assuming. You do, and you realize you're approaching where you need to be, as you do hear a distinct howl in the distance. And as you begin to pull up, you do see a, a, in a, a, within the five minutes of that, and you pull up to the sewer grate, right? Marcus brings you right to it. You do see standing there, clearly made it before you all did, is Fen by himself, just waiting. Well, 
Yeah, that's not gonna draw eyes. No, we'll be fine. Well, here it is. Y'all ready? This this sewer grate. We're we're going in. Yeah, right. W where is Jacques? Where is the bloodstone? Uh, Jacques is still in the sewers. He's probably like ten minutes from where you are down below. Making it's it seems like he's making his way toward you guys. We can make it through the sewers. I I have the perfect sewer companion. I peek into my purse. Machiavelli, a little shaky, like gently pierce his head out from your it's purse. It's okay. He's not gonna hurt you. He's, uh, he's all right. He gets he gets down low. Hey, little buddy. I'm sorry about what happened earlier. She'll bring him up so you can see him a little better. Uh, because I believe a part of Heart Warden is that I can speak with animals. Uh, I believe you are able to, yes. Um, you s yeah, you see, uh, you see Fen talking to Machiavelli, and Machiavelli at first is a little shaky, but as Fen talks to him, his nose retwitches his little whiskers, and he perks up a little bit. Okay. Uh, Good. And oh. he looks to you, and you see, like, you see the, that his the, his red eyes look more calm than they were okay. earlier. Are you okay? She'll ask him. Yes. Okay. Uh, the one thing, and as you are talking to Machiavelli, Fen, you do smell a the taint small of the worm. bit of the worm mm -hmm. inside of this little rat. Stag isn't going to be happy about that, but... So, Willow, would you like to send Machiavelli maybe down into the sewer, into the grate? I think maybe Machiavelli can, he's got a better nose than I do. Yeah. Yeah. Machiavelli, do you feel comfortable going down into the, into the sewers? He puts his little paws up and twitches. Okay, well, you, you tell me when you're back, I'll come get you. And she'll lower her purse so he can run out. Machiavelli, uh, you see him very quickly scurry into the into the rat, into the sewer rat. I almost said sewer rat. Into the <laughs> sewer grate. Um, his like it's natural for him. His natural <gasps> habitat. Baby. And he begins crawling, and you lose sight of him. Okay. You wait a minute. Two minutes. It takes a bit of time. You all stand there kind of uh, probably in silence and another awkward silence among the four of you. And then Machiavelli crawls out. Oh, I and him up. You see Willow that he has something in his mouth and he places oh. it on your hand. It looks like something broken. It's a small device uh it's like a has a piece of plastic a broken metal piece that's sharp do any of Bit you recognize this she'll hold it up so we can all look at it i want everybody including you fen um roll me invest intelligence investigation Intelligence investigation. Intelligence okay. and investigation. So I use uh, so, my intelligence and my investigation yes. uh, so, dice? Okay. Yep, you'll roll as many dice as you have in intelligence and investigation. Four successes. Four successes. One success. Okay. No successes. No successes. Uh, four successes. Four successes. Okay. So, Silas, you immediately recognize that the sharp piece of metal is uh, a syringe head and a plunger. 
uh, Willow, you immediately no notice that there is like bits of a circuit board on this. Um, like it's some sort of device, but it looks like it's clearly shattered. Uh, and you also notice tufts of fur with, within the device. Oh, can I pick off, uh, while it's still my hand, I'll pick off the little tufts of fur mm -hmm. and I'll hand them to Fen. Is this his, do you think? Would I know that? Just you from... do recognize the gray fur. It Glory. does look like it could be his. What have, you, what have you gotten yourself into? What the what, hell? What is this thing? It's a syringe and... and a circuit board too. Is he being like tested on? Tracked, maybe? Both? So the, sorry, the syringe is attached to the circuit board? Mm-hmm. Yes. Interesting. That's Looks weird. Some nondescript device. You're not really sure what it is. You've not, you Silas, you've not seen anything like this before. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna put this in my purse until we figure out what it is. Can I ask Machiavelli where he found this? I know he can only speak simply, but <laughs> I'll pick him up. Hello. How far? Close. Okay. Well, yeah, he, he was only gone for what? How long was Machiavelli gone? Like two minutes. Oh, so it took him a minute there and back. Okay, so it was probably right down there because he'd got little feet. Okay. Silas, you look and you see that Jacques is pretty close in the sewers. Okay. And in the next couple of minutes, you actually hear, probably like 20 feet from you, you hear the sound of a great moving. <laughs> that was not a great sound. I don't know what that was. It worked. <laughs> you got it. I got the vibe. That's like a <laughs> phasmophobia door yeah, right there. It is. It is. <laughs> uh, and you uh, see Jacques emerging from the sewer uh, manhole, not far from where you are. <clears throat> nah. Hey, uh, you probably all want to come down here. You find something. Yeah, yeah. Found something. All right, I'll put Machiavelli okay, in my purse. Doesn't sound like it's good. It does not, no. All right. Once you guys are all down in the sewer, you would see Jacques looks, um, any hostility or bravado that he had previously is gone. Uh, what was your name again? Ben Breer. Ben Breer, uh, just want to extend my formal apologies for the hostilities earlier. Uh, uh, no uh, disrespect intended. Just care very much about my grandkids. No, you were being territorial. You were making sure that yours was safe. I understand that. Yeah, but right. I'm not gonna put my tail between my legs. You understand that, right? No, no of course, sir. Yeah. Uh, no. So is my father's name. Right. The, uh, your associate, the, my fellow clan members, they found him. He's right this way. Oh, no. I, he leans. He leans into Jock. You try anything, old man. Understand? I got no. three hostages with me. No, no, not, not trying anything. Uh, he's okay. He's fine. Lead the way. Yeah. Uh, kids, uh, gotta be on your best behavior. Okay. Oh, these. We're gonna meet some of your clan. Briefly. Briefly. I'll talk to him. <laughs> you all begin, uh, you follow Jacques, and probably for most of you, the first time in your life, walk down into a sewer. Oh my god, my demonias yeah. are gonna get dirty. <laughs> <laughs> it may mm. even take you a minute to even want to do this. Yeah. So you stare at the manhole, the the 
the circular plate moved completely. Jacques is already down and is looking up, waiting for the rest of you to make your way down. And it's a hard thing. Fen probably immediately follows, doesn't think too much of it, but the three of uh, you... He'll he'll turn around and he'll see. If he sees Willow, um, like, like oh, I don't want to go in there. He'll... She's looking down. Uh, he takes off his jacket and you see he's just got the tank top on, just built Ooh. like a fucking <laughs> monster um, <laughs> covered in scars uh, uh, and he sets it down like it's a mud puddle type deal oh oh thank you wait will you take my purse first she's gonna lean down and hand it to you be careful Machiavelli's in there no, he's alright he she'll the purse. hand that to you and then she'll do a little hop down yeah, he'll catch you and then set you down. Thank you. She'll pick and then up your jacket. He puts his hands up for the boys. <laughs> oh, it, I appreciate it. You don't need to help I me. I don't want you I to got. feel left out. Oh, I don't. Dorian will take your assistance. Thank you. <laughs> oh yeah, Dorian said. I, as he, I want my as he catches each of them, he looks to Jacques. Jacques is oh. not making eye contact with you. Dorian is staring you in the eyes as he, as you're like bring, hoisting him down. He's just like, you're like a feather to him. <laughs> He's light as anything. He's staring. I'll pick up your coat for you. I can hand it back to you. Thank you. Well, thank uh, you. We we should get that clean for you. Sorry about it's, that. It's all good. Okay. I'm not made of money, but I appreciate the assistance. Silas will just look at Fen and be like, "Peppermint for the smell." I know, I know, we don't use our. Do kindred smell like the sense of smell? Is that like a living thing or? Uh, you can smell, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Old medical have... school trick. Interesting. A couple of the docs in uh in the Marines told me about this a few times. Pockets in. You all head into the sewers and begin trudging through these dank, dark halls. Jacques leads the way, and it's about a 10 minute walk from where you are. It's uncomfortable and unsettling being down here. It's dark. And all you can hear is the sound of dripping and puddles and your own footsteps moving through the puddles. But as you walk, you eventually turn a corner to a larger room among these narrower halls. And it's dark. And as you look around, you see eyes all over the place looking at you nothing but eyes in darkness you begin mm. to make some of them out and they are grotesque shapes of faces with bat-like ears they watch you but don't say anything as you walk in they look at you intently and you walk forward and see on the ground, a similar sight, almost, to how you found Fen. You see a man with a hat on his head with some pins on it of different symbols and images. He's wearing a t-shirt, has tattoos on his arm, a little bit of a, a beard, and of course, that black circle with a crescent moon tattoo right under his face. This is him. The lupine you were looking for. What happened to him? He, laying on the ground, looks disheveled, dazed, lost, he looks unwell. Any wounds? 
you do see... You see one gape across his arm. It looks like it's healing, like it's fast healing, similar to what you've seen in your own kind. But other than that, no, you don't see any wounds. Uh, Fennel walks straight up to him. Hey, hey, Amori, wake up. Wake up. Uh, Fen. Fen. Immediately slaps him across the face. What the fuck, man? <laughs> what the fuck are you doing here? Uh, I don't even fucking know. Where the fuck are we? What do you mean? Last time I saw you, we were at home. Now we're in Chicago. What the you want to take a little trip? He, as he's gathering his bearings, smells... He smells the worm all around him, and mm -hmm. the rage begins to fester a bit in him. Hey, 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 focus, focus. He just grabs him across the face, like we, like I taught you, like it taught you. Breathe, breathe, control it. What the fuck happened? Hey, I don't know what happened, but my daughter would kill me if I didn't come get you. So. We're going to figure this out soon, but right now we're in a little bit of a situation. Now, I know Gaia would appreciate it if we um did a little extermination business, but that's not the plan I have right now. So I need you to be calm, cool, and collected, and we'll figure this out. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. So you don't remember anything? I don't fucking remember anything. I was... I was, somebody grabbed me like, like this, when I was like this, and I, I don't know, they fucking drugged me or something? I don't, I don't know. All I, all I wanted to do was kill. All I could feel was rage. I've never felt anything like it before. It's okay, hey, hey, it's okay, that's over. All right, I'm here with you. You don't have to do that ever again if you don't want to. I'm, I'm taking a page out of your book and trying to be civil, trying to, you know, try something new. But you got to be there with me. Keep it together. Try. Uh, I do. Hey, Dory. I do. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. I might need something from you that's going to be a bit of a sacrifice. Are you willing to do that? What is it going to be? It's going to hurt. <sighs> Can't hurt any worse than, than what just happened, so... All right. Fine. We're going to get to the bottom of this. We're going to get to the bottom of this. Okay. I'll tell you once we get out of here. Oh, are we getting out of here? Are we gonna... Yeah, one way or the other. Yeah. <sighs> okay. He looks over <coughs> your shoulder and looks and stares daggers at the rest of you. You got a little cut there. You might want to clean that up a bit. Uh, the, uh, you, you guys are safe. The, um, uh, Clan Nosferatu uh, wants you to know that you're, you're welcomed in their territory when you need. That includes the underground. Mo mostly the underground. Much as I appreciate that, we had a deal. I, I, I'm aware. I was just letting you know, uh, Clan Nosferatu wants, wants you to know that you're not in danger from them. Does this clan know anything that happened to my kin? They do not. They do not, and they, uh, they wish no violence upon, uh, Goru. What about this? And he'll hold up the 
apparatus that Machiavelli brought up. Does ring any bells? I'm gonna have him roll for this really quick. <sighs> Is it about the shape of the gash on his arm? <laughs> Maybe it was torn out. The arm looks... The gash looks pretty big in comparison to this. Uh, one moment. I think I saw that thing. Well, I need you to think long and hard. It's very important. Yeah, I don't know, man. I was barely conscious. Said he was drugged. I don't care what you do when you're feeding or whatever you like to say. But one of mine's was assaulted. And I'll take kind to that. He was. And in turn, he killed the wrong vampire. He killed multiple vampires. Kindred. All right. So if this device has anything anything to do with that, we need to know. A lot of bricks are starting to pile up, friend. A lot of different questions being asked without any answers. Yeah. Do you think we have the fucking answers for that thing? Do you think Sorry. we make shit like that? No, Lord, but it's got stop. your hair stuck in it. We're supposed to believe you that something sent you into a, a craze and you killed Kindred and whoops, must have no, been something else. But Look. that makes sense. In my vision, you looked confused. Like you didn't know what you were doing. Yeah, that makes vision. sense. Hmm. No, it's, 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 it's worm spawn shit. Uh, <laughs> Kindred. <laughs> I know the rage I feel. When it happens, I know. This was not that. What's the last thing you remember before? I remember... I remember there was a person, a shape over me. I remember being strapped into something. And then I wasn't in that room anymore. I woke up and I was the park. Yeah, I was I was in the park. Hmm. <laughs> the park by Wrigley Field. I remember being there. I remember the rage. I remember it then. I don't know how I got there, though. How far away were you before? I, I don't yeah, know. Where, where, where are you two from? Normally. Where do you stay? He's just going to let um, Imora, Imori uh, explain everything. He's just letting him take the lead just to get his composure back. Where? I mean, I do come to Chicago sometimes. We're from Saganashki. Hmm. The woods outside of the city, but we come here. Sometimes I do, and there are people I like to see here. So Chicago suburbs. Still yeah. close by. Yeah. It's, the not city... like it's not like you're from, like, Minnesota and you ended up no. in Chicago. No. We're, we were okay. born in Chicago. We were born and raised here. Myself and Fenn. Hyde Park. Yeah. Got it. And I come back here sometimes, but no, we don't live in the city anymore. Especially with your kind here all the time. Well, again, Clan Nosferatu, if you ever need to come into town, you have their protection. 
you know, uh, our, our clan leader wants to extend our sincerest apologies for your experience in the city. And, uh, yeah, we will put resources and look into, uh, finding out what happened to you. We appreciate that. Of course. But place, places a hand on Amari's back. Can I touch him? You can. She, she asks out loud, like, oh. very much like, <laughs> is he gonna oh. bite my hand off if I get near him? It's, it's involuntary, but kind of <laughs> like how a dog doesn't want to get touched or you, like, yeah. getting close. His just canines are starting to, or his lips mm -hmm. are starting to rise over his canines. I'm not gonna hurt him. I'm gonna cool. try and, I think I can try and help him see what happened. I don't know. I've never tried it before. You are with this? Some of this warm, tainted bullshit. Hey, you the one who always wants to come back here. Be little get togethers and you. You don't have to if you don't want to. If it'll help, then fine. It, it might work or give us more of a lead. It might not completely give us what we want, but it's worth trying. It's not going to hurt him, right, Willow? No. Okay. If anything, it'll hurt me. If I okay. extend her hand to him. I'll, I'll sit on the ground with him. I'll sit. It's okay. He looks at you, and you reach your hand out. Roll me a uh, wits aspects. Let's see if we can't figure out a little bit more. That would be nice. Oh wait, I have a whole little button for this, don't I? Yes. Yeah, that's that's easier than what I was attempting to do right there. Wait, so it's back. There it is. Uh, six successes. <sighs> Willow, you hear the whispers once again, and as you allow, you, you touch this lupine in front of you, the whisper is heightened more and more and begins speaking to you. The room around you begins to turn gray. It was already a dark black surrounding you, but it fades into a light gray. And You see, within his heart, you see a heart. You see it beat slightly irregularly. Huh. You feel something over the heart. But you're not quite sure what it is. It doesn't feel natural. And you know these lupine are all about natural order, but something feels artificial about this. Okay. And then suddenly it feels hot to touch and you step away you, f you kind of instinctively react to the hot touch of this of his body and break out of this premonition there's something wrong with you something wrong with me your heart what did you see what's going on his heart's not right i don't know what about it silas maybe you know it beats irregularly. It's hot to the touch. It's not natural. Whatever is in there. Something's wrong. Something's wrong with your heart. Would, as a heart warden, would I have background or information or story that sounds similar to that? Uh, ye, as a philodox, actually, philodox? you probably would have more info on this um 
as you are kind of like keepers of lots of information. Um, this sounds like something that could be one of the common enemies of Guru called Pentex. They're like a organization that is basically all, a, they do make things that are technological of sorts. It sounds like it could be that, but you're not sure. So somebody's creating a device that drugs my kin and apparently attacks all of you. I guess so. Whatever happened with his heart, it's not the way it was. Somebody's messed with it. We'll head back home and we'll get our people looking at that as soon as possible. I... I am a doctor. That you are, but I feel like my people have a better understanding of what could be going on since your friend has shown you don't even know what the worm is. Something's not right here more than usual. Yeah. We've somebody or some people messing with your people so they'll possibly attack ours? Sounds like, someone's, sh sounds like someone's trying to start another war. Yeah. <gasps> the other... Fellowships don't like to uh, play nice, but getting information like this might calm the ones that they lost as well. But that requires me and my friend to be able to leave this place. We still require payment. That you do. Friend over there, yelling to Jop. Yeah. Y'all gonna, uh, remember what transpired here this evening? Yes, of course. I don't think that works well. See loose lips. Make a, uh, issue for secrets, if you catch my drift. We're happy to forget whatever you're uh, trying to make sure is forgotten. Uh, if you talk about Clan Nosferatu, you're fine. Sounds good. Um, Doc, you got any tools on you or anything? Tools as, as in what? Something for my friend to bite down on. N the no, fuck? this is 2023. Fantastic. Maya, are you ready? What the fuck are you gonna do? Wait, you're Give me your hand. Uh, dude. Uh, I, uh, and with his bare hand, he slices his arm at the uh, elbow. Ah! And he cries out in pain. What the fuck? And he begins to growl in absolute rage. You want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me with just one arm? That sounds like it'd be a difficult task. You better get it together. God damn it! Tiara. Ben! That's going to need a doctor. And his arm is torn off. He said In payment. He tosses Silas the arm. I think this will do. You should fuck. We better get out of here, Finn. I'm telling do, you, I do don't think breathing. I can hold it in any longer. You'll be I fine. I want to tear their throats out. Relax, relax. You all talk most of the time. How are you so fucking relaxed right now? Because I've wanted to do that for longer than you understand. Damn it. Fuck you, man. <laughs> it's all right. 
you know she'll take care of you once we get back and um he'll put his coat over him and uh god damn it I you get healed today still hurts if you head uh a mile that way head up the uh up the sewer crate you'll uh you should be close to your uh closer to your territory you should be fine there I wouldn't call us allies. But if you uh, have any questions, any more questions, as it were, feel free to um, wander my woods and one of us will uh, have a conversation. Of course. Absolutely. you go back on our deal in any way, shape, or form. And me and my buddy will come back and even with one arm, I don't think you want to deal with me. I think all of us just want to go home after tonight. Mm-hmm. Well, Amora, I feel as though using your tactics worked out this one time. This was the, um, older me. There'd be a lot more blood here. Yeah. I'm just glad you found me. Yeah, me too. Then they'll start walking out. They head in one direction. And the rest of you head the other as you depart. <laughs> Once again, meeting and making allies in the most unlikely of places from what everything you were taught about Anarchs, about Lupine. Now you find yourselves working with them. Is this truly what the Camarilla would want? Uh, listen, you three, uh, as far as everything that happened once you entered the sewer grate tonight, that's, uh, that's part of the land of that shit never happened. You understand? Understood. Uh-huh. We'll have some real fucking sure. problems. Uh-huh. If anyone knows about it. About what? Any of it. The fact. Are you the bending go. over backwards for those nah, uh, Goru? Anything else you wanted to give them? You want to give them keys to our house, a reach around? Like what? It, it's the, complicated. What the fuck? It, it's clan the business. fuck was I that? I don't. Dorian, we got what we wanted. Quit being a dick. Seriously, not a th- not everything's a fucking business deal, Dorian. Yeah. He's, Sometimes he's you just need to tap everything. into your goddamn humanity. Oh. Hey. Look. Now. You still got to go talk to the Anarchs. <gasps> what I'm thinking... Well, hold on. What I'm thinking... You got the hand. Hopefully that does it. And if it doesn't... I don't know. Maybe we find out who put the wolf in this situation. Maybe maybe this was not a targeted attack or something. I don't know. I just... As far as anything down there with the Nas and the... The, the, the Goru... Not a fucking word, you hear me? Not a word. The shit that never happened. Dorian? Yeah. Alright. Where the fuck is Marvin? And Get Jacques... It. Jacques, you head off with your driver, Marvin. And... Willow, Silas, and Dorian, you head off with your driver, Marcus. Leaving the three of you to figure out what your next course of action is after a successful deal in the sewers. Indeed. Huh. Uh, 
is that your cue for us to stop, Tracy? Or I can keep going. Um. Yeah. I was, do, uh, no, it's like, I, if she I, wants I, to end, I'll, no. I'll give her her space. I want to know what you guys want to do next. So I oh, can okay. prepare. <laughs> okay. I'm doing the George thing. Where I'm like, okay, noted, noted. <laughs> what do you um, guys want to do in next? The, so. <laughs> well, we can do it. We can do it in character in the car. Yeah. <laughs> So we're gonna go back to the Anarchs, right? Correct. Cool. Yay. Dorian? Yeah? Why are you so quiet? Nothing to say. That's a surprise. I said what I said. You didn't want to hear it. I'm not gonna say it again. No, well, don't be such a sourpuss. Go ahead, talk. The floor's yours. These type of lies, these type of secrets, it's a dangerous game that we're playing. And we put our trust in people we don't know at all. Not, not people. Guru. Certainly not Kindred. And uh, that was our first encounter with Lupine, and they showed us nothing but murderous intent. We were threatened every step of the way. So this whole play nice together, uh, to, to what end? to finish what we came here to do. And now we're making secret deals with Lupine that we're not supposed to tell the prince. Well, that scares me. No one made a secret, like, what, we didn't kill them on sight? That, that, that is the laws that we have to abide by? We, we stopped blood from being spilt relatively. Everyone's still breathing. We just went in there with a lot of trust. And I... <clears throat> I don't want to see us betrayed for it. And neither That's do all. I. And if the Anarchs find out that we lied, if they ever do we might be equally fucked. And then we'll have but, to deal with that when it comes to it. it. Yeah. It's not a judgment on anyone, but just something we all know. But, I mean, how else did, did he expect us to deal with this? I don't know. But now we know for the future. Yeah. And more importantly, I think we just discovered a plot to start a war. I'm going to take this device back to the lab. I want okay. to see what, what chemicals were in the syringe, what the circuit board does. I'll need okay. some time. What if? And also, <laughs> from the arm, can I get a vial of werewolf blood? Yes, actually. Okay. Would Great. be able to. <clears throat> well, um, what if, what if we tell the Anarchs what happened? I'm going to pass this one to Dorian as he made the deal. I don't want to step on any more toes. You keep saying that we made the deal together. You were there, and it was a good but deal. You, but you led the deal, Dorian. Don't act like you've never had someone change up a deal. This isn't fucking set in stone. Yeah, usually don't call that audible on the fly. Well, sometimes you gotta be malle malleable in business. You should know the first thing about that. I do. You okay. don't. Okay. So are we telling them? Because they seem fairly reasonable. And... He is still missing an arm for this, and they're out of the territory. I don't know how deep their revenge runs, but 
Surely they're smart enough to know that we made a good choice, right? We can't tell them without risking them explaining what happened to the Camarilla. I mean, we can't risk... If we, if we have to keep this lupine secret from the Camarilla, we certainly can't trust the Anarchs. Agreed. Okay, then we don't tell them. Fine. I just want to make sure before we go in there and I say something, I want to make sure I don't. Because I would like to be on the same page as you two all the time. You all make a line for the Anarchs. Um, they are willing to meet with you in a couple of nights. You do also know, within the next couple of nights, you have a board meeting for the votes. We gotta talk about that. So that will happen probably before you meet with the Anarchs. You will have to have this board meeting. Probably within the next two to three nights that's going to happen. But other than that, that's something to sit and think on for all of you, what you're going to do at the next meeting, which is where we will begin our next session next week. But before we do, I'd like to return to Fen. Fen, you and Emery are making your way through the sewers, open up the grate, and are making your way out of the city to the suburbs. The two of you, yeah, talking about how shitty this all has been. I just... I wanna... Makes me never wanna come back to the city sometimes. Good. I don't have any business out here. Take you a while to grow that arm back, but hopefully it'll the the kindred aren't that wise to that little trick, I guess we can call it. We gotta get your heart checked out. If if it's tainted by the worm, that's gonna be it's gonna be something that the other packs aren't gonna like that much. Just stop for a minute. Something doesn't feel right. All right, all right. <sighs> Take a breather. Ah, it really hurts. And it's not the fucking arm. It, and he grabs Whoa. his chest. Ugh. God, it hurts. Ugh. And the growling begins to happen again. I can't. I can't control it this time. All right, all right, all right. And he take he um just starts <laughs> stretching again. We gonna do this? Are you sure? And you look down again, and it, and you see him actually passed out on the ground. More, more. Stop playing. Uh, do I hear a heartbeat? You don't. And Fen, in this moment, you see a van with a logo. You briefly catch the logo. And only you, I will show what this logo is for now. Some individuals come and in an instant, shoot you with trank darts. You are knocked out in an instant. Everything goes black. You feel the rage for a minute, ready to defend, but it goes black. And 
everything cuts to black. And that is where we will end Ancestral Blood and see what happens next week and where this all will take us and what happens to Fen and what happens to our family and their board meeting. Thank you everybody for watching this evening. Next week we will have Ancestral Blood, but it will be in person. And we will be pre-recording it um, and we'll update you all on when we plan on uploading the episode. It may be delayed from our normal time, but sometime around the weekend next weekend, we will have our next episode of Ancestral Blood as we'll all be at PAX playing in person. Yeah. So, uh, you know, maybe a Fen will appear. Maybe for a scene. We'll see what happens. Very exciting things. We may even have another guest joining us for next session uh, at this lovely meeting. So we will see you all next time. Definitely don't forget to follow us on all the socials. Check out our Magi RPG Discord where you can talk about this show and all of our other shows as well. Discord.gg slash RPG. And if you haven't already caught up, catch up on all of our other shows and even this uh, chronicle if you haven't been able to catch up on all the episodes, including our first three episodes talking about the embrace of how our, our kindred came into their own life. Thank you so much, everybody. And thank you to our special guest, Craig, for joining us as our first guru. I got to do some werewolf shenanigans. So thank you so much. It was so Craig. much fun. So much fun. So much fun. All right, everybody, we will see you all next week. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Hey, guys, not us having a board meeting in person. Oh, no. <laughs> That's what I'm immediately thinking of. I'm like, oh, my God, this shit's going to be intense. Everybody Reminder that up. we have hot mics. But yes, yes, go ahead. Oh, yeah. Yeah, dress up for the dress up for the uh, for the board meeting. I'll wear yes. a little suit to the to the board meeting. <laughs> I don't yes. think I'll have mm -hmm. time to get an outfit. I feel as though I'll be a little a little drowsy. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. You're gonna be uh You do gonna be sleepsies. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Oh, man. man, I hate seeing the future, but I love seeing the future. <laughs> <laughs> it truly eludes me in ways I do not